VOD heads! And also, I guess, stream heads alike. Welcome back. We are finally getting started with FF7 Rebirth Part 11. Now, why do I say finally? Well, chat has uh, graciously offered to explain. Uh, if, I can, uh, if I can just put them on screen for a second here. Here you go. Try, try, and, try and make it work. Severoth did this. Yeah. 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 Okay. So y'all, y'all basically got it. Uh, let me put this back down here. I moved it and then just realized I could, uh, put the game footage down. Foreground stuff, foreground stuff. Here we go. Oh God, oh, let's put that right there. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Anyway, so in actuality, what happened was, um, I was recording this episode, part 11, Partway through recording, thankfully we did not get very far. We got like 10 minutes in, um, and uh, my SSD that holds all of my stream footage just just completely crashed. So um, that's concerning. I still have not uploaded uh, part 10 yet, so that'll be a real bummer if I can't get that back. But um, that's we're not going to dwell on that. What we are going to dwell on is the fact that I uh, need to very briefly re-explain uh, this episode and what I've been doing. So, hi, it's episode 11. We just got the buggy, which I'm extremely excited about. Um, it's really fun. We did not do a whole lot, uh, but I did do a lot off stream. So you may notice, um, I got all of the towers in the Kural region. I did all of the combat intel assignments. Um, I did a couple things at the gold saucer. I'm not gonna get into specifics until we go back. Um, Things I did not do. I did not do any side quests. I did not do this uh, Queen's Blood mission. I did not do the Proto Relic. Um, and I didn't do anything that was like lore related intel wise. However, since we started stream, I did grow, I did, I did go and grab this uh, Lifespring intel bit. So um, I do need to read this again. We need to read the region intel that we got. So let me do this really quick. <clears throat> Coal was in high demand in the days of the Republic, and the wealth of Mount Corel drew miners from far and wide. Though the work was hard and dangerous, the laborers banded together to overcome their difficulties, forming a close-knit community in the process. Alas, the advent of Mako saw the price of coal plummet, spelling disaster for the people of Corel. As he struggled to find a way forward, Shinra proposed the construction of a Mako reactor, and after much debate, the villagers accepted the offer. The reactor was constructed with astonishing haste, but just prior to being brought online, it was torn apart by an immense explosion and has been left in ruins ever since. So that's just Barrett's backstory, essentially. Uh, but we have it in world intel form. Uh, so yeah, what I am getting up to right now is we are we are currently in the buggy. Um, and we're trying to find the Tonberry King. That was what I was working on before the SSD crash. And like I said, Nothing important happened. We we did we did that bit of world intel and then it almost immediately crashed after that. So thankfully, we couldn't get too far. Uh, however, I am still trying to find this place. I think I'm gonna head like in this direction, um, because I feel like this is this is somewhat promising. This seems like a promising kind of landmark to to head towards. I feel like that's our that's our best bet. Um, I also have not played with Kate Sith. I am going to try out Kate Sith. I, Kate Sith, I think, when we get to the Tonberry King, because I have not played any of his combat just yet. Though I did look at and shuffle around his equipment, and it comes across like he is more of a support character um, in this game, which is pretty cool. Now, I will say, I barely played with Kate Sith at all in the original. Like, I essentially, I like barely touched him. Um, so, we'll see how funny is to play in this one. Yeah, he, yeah, it's sort of like Aerith. It's it, kind of like how Red and Barret are both kind of like different options for defense. Uh, Kate and Aerith, to me, come across as like different options for different kinds of support. Because um, Aerith is very much focused on like, sh like, she's a white mage, you know, she's very much focused on like, 
raw like healing and magic and all kind of stuff. Well, I mean, like it depends on how you build her, but also uh, that's kind of where she is. That's where her strengths lie. Um, but Cave Sith, just based off of reading his abilities, comes across like it's very uh, like a lot of it's like chance based. It, it kind of focuses in on his luck stat, um, which could be fun. I don't know why. Why did I come over here? I mean, I know why I came over here. I just, I just don't know like what. I feel like this is probably a proto relic area because there's nothing else here to, to do. Oh yeah. I can't even call my buggy right now. Okay, it's its limit in the OG is the most broken in the game. What does it do? It can insta-kill anything? That's awesome. Hey, uh... I can't get off of this thing. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I completely forgot that these were here. We're not trapped, we're not trapped. You can pause buffer the RNG out of it. You can also mod the RNG out of it. Hi! Uh, Baby chocobo, let's fucking go. Don't talk to me, don't look at me. Thank you. He looks like he's getting confused. I feel ya. Let's go. Wow, this is really out of the way. Oh, but it's such a nice view. color of banana paint was censored. <laughs> we got another one. Let's fucking go. Yeah, if you, if you want to talk about yellow paint, you have to censor it. Otherwise, uh, your message gets deleted. <laughs> Honestly, and, and, and this happened in a previous episode of this very series. Um, it was... Uh, <laughs> It's it's really more for me than it is for you. It's it's less of a chat punishment and more of a a penny deterrent because I hate talking about the the yellow paint debate and I wanted to put somewhat of an embargo on me. What is wait, what is Cloud doing right now? <laughs> Look at this. That hurts. That looks like it hurts. <laughs> He's a fucking monster. Also, yeah, these are cactrots. Uh, I met these off stream. Uh, they're basically just like the cactuars, but you know. They have flowers on their heads. Don't 1,000 needles me. Okay, this is looking like some kind of landmark. I wonder if I should try Fort Condor again today. I'm actually like really in the mood to like throw myself at a at a Fort Condor type. Oh baby. Oh baby, let's go. Oh, this looks like a boss arena if I've ever seen one, but no Tonberry King. Hello? 
You know what? I'm starting to wonder if... I'm starting to wonder if maybe the Tonberry King is the Proto Relic. No, but I mean, that makes sense. That it would be tied to two different side quests? I don't know. Here, does the, does the quest tell me anything? You may deliver a pristine or marred crown. Interesting. Well, this looks like it's going to be something. It definitely looks Proto Relic related. Um. All right, well, we can, uh, we can try somewhere else, I guess. I'm a little bummed out. I thought for sure that was going to be it. What is this? You're close, but I don't want to spoil anything. Took me a bit to find the spot. Well, if we're close, then... Here, let me keep, uh... Could run around this area a little more. Time to go exploring, that's right. I will say I'm not I I might actually if if we can't find it within the next like ten minutes or whatever, I'll probably ask chat to help. But not just yet. Not just yet. Doesn't it look croc shaped? Which which part? Oh! This? <laughs> actually, oh shit! <laughs> You're right, that's a croc. That's a croc. That's so funny. That looks like a point of interest. Give me my car back. I was looking for, oh yeah, like croc, like the animal. I need to get more crocs. I have, I have a pair of Crocs that have kind of become my best friend recently. They're so fucking comfy. That looks like a place to live. Is that a big entrance right there? Whoa, get back. I highly recommend Crocs. Crocs have, Crocs? have become a very, um, what is this? What is cat to our world? What is this? <laughs> what am I looking at here? Why is there so many little like funny cat to our spots in this, in this, in this zone? I can't interact with any of them. This is so silly. I can't wait. It's probably proto relic stuff. I don't know, man. Um, not yet, sir. I can't- I can't imagine what else it would be if not Proto Relic stuff. Maybe the Proto Relic is like... You go all around Corel and you just run into like different like... Little... Freaks, including the Tonberry King and including... This Cactuar home. Anyway, I was gonna say... Uh, Crocs have become a very, um... Convenient, like, in-between chew for me. Um where uh, it's nice because they're like, they're not full like slippers, you know, they're like, they're comfy and I can just kind of like wear them around the house, but they're not like as lounge as slippers, which means that you can do a little more in them, but they're not as much of like a commitment as like, as, uh, as like sneakers or, like loafers or something like that, you know? Like they're they're very like, they're very in between. They're nice. So it's 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 like, you know, it's nice for when I want to run a quick errand, but I don't feel like putting on like real shoes. <laughs> I just want to slip something on that isn't like a huge thing. Like both flip flops and slippers, yeah. But they're like they're they're a tiny bit more like they have a little bit more like structural integrity. It feels like, do you know what I mean? Like like it's just ever so slightly in between. Like slippers and and like flip flops and stuff. Like sandals can 
they can hit a lot of the same points for sure, but they're just a little bit over the edge. They're just a little bit more in the direction of like, oh yeah, these are like shoes. Like you can wear them like shoes, shoes. Anyway, buy Crocs today. <laughs> Exclamation white Crocs in chat for your promo code. You know, being being a streamer has really kind of like clued me into how much I talk like I am constantly sponsored by by brands. <laughs> I talk about products like it's a commercial and I just do that because that's how I talk. Hi, ah. Chadley. Upon analyzing the data from the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. The chip can be found in a village abandoned due to desertification. This erosion will spread if left unchecked, and eventually, the entire village will be swallowed by the sands. Do try to collect the chip before that happens. Oh, okay. That's a real bummer. Deserted village. Man, I don't I don't feel like I'm getting any closer. I could um I could go and just like check what that proto relic activates and see if it seems like it's gonna lead me any closer to that. It it kinda makes no sense to me that the Johnny mission would be attached to the proto relic mission, because they have they've side quests and proto relics have been almost completely separate up to this point. I could be wrong though. Actually, maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm lying to myself. Maybe I'm misremembering. Okay, I'm gonna stop belly aching about it and just just look. I'm just gonna check it out, and we'll see. It could also be a case where it's like a a side quest I haven't picked up yet. I could just go and look at the. Maybe it's for, no, but then why would it be connected to two side quests? What am I talking about? Here, just go here, just go here. Go in the buggy. We'll check it. If this doesn't do it, I'll ask chat. Hello, the baby. Lead me, lead me. This must be the sandstorm. Oh, here we go. Crazy. <laughs> Scary. Oh no. <laughs> What's happening? Okay. Immediate boss fight? What are we doing? Whoa! Whoa, that's great. That looks pre rendered. And lo, it's not though. Should it lead me, but these sweltering sands. What is this thing? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed. You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine. You think the proto relic is yours? Proto what now? Who the hell are you? Relic, you say? Can you like fuck off? Ah, I'm talking to my guy name, here. Unworthy of my treasure. We have like a whole thing going. What you didn't. I didn't see you in Fort Condor. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay. That was. That's like his. I swear to God, it looks like he has like a big like. Rock dick. Bulge or whatever. Hello? Stop, what are you doing? So what was that? Oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you alright? I'm fine. But what the hell was Are that? Are you alright? I'm Sorry, investigating I'm the matter as we speak. 
in my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. Chadley twins find you crying in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, Alexa, I thought this yeah, we, we were on the same page. Sorry, I- sorry, I'm Chadley. And I'm my... Like a clock. <laughs> that's not- no, that's not it. Sorry, I'm Tick. And I'm Talk. Like a clock. Is that gear lubricant escaping your retinal orifices? Are your sprockets in a twist? They're crying. What happened? Holy shit! Your boyfriend said that to you? Sounds like he's got a couple of loose screws. Son of a bracket. He's gonna be scrap metal by the time we're done with him. There you go, buddy. Now, what if, what if they just said, holy shit? <laughs> like, the joke would be gone, but I think it would be more satisfying. Okay, well, um, that doesn't... Oh, wait. Oh, we still haven't gone there. Ah! -ah! It is the Chocobo houses! I think. Not Chocobo. Uh, the Cactuar. Is growing stronger. Perhaps there is a proto-relic in the nearby reactor. Uh, oh, these are reactors. Yeah, it's been altered. Though it doesn't appear these modifications were made by Shinra. Whoever No, they were made by these little fucking freaks. Within. Proceed with caution. Oh, let's go. What? That's some sort of monster's den. A fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. <sighs> Whoa. Ooh. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Wait, like from the Bible? Hmm. Interesting. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct. Yeah, first kings shape. or second kings, Chadley. Come on. Now that Cloud has made contact with this door, I need your reference. The rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. By the way, do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? Literally right next to you. Literally right next to you. It's to your left. It's oh. literally right next to you. It's right there. I saw it. It's right there. There you go. That's it. <laughs> that statue should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. So we must prove ourselves worthy. I know you can do it. <laughs> I'm Yubi! I will never be a memory. And I'm Yubi! Hold to raise the cactar statue aloft, then follow the light amidst to locate its corresponding rock. I gotta look for a rock. <laughs> Whoa! Oh shit, it's Shadow of the Colossus! <laughs> Oh, fuck! Wait! Wait! That's awesome! Hold on. <laughs> That's so sick! This is great. It's a great vibe. I just want, I want a picture of it. Okay, well, I'm starting to think this has nothing to do with the Tonberry King, so, chat, can you tell me where to find that? <laughs> I will- I will allow this one. Oh, you just do intel? Okay. You gotta do all the life springs. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, oh yeah, okay, it's the legendary- okay. Perfect. Okay, well then we'll- we'll- we'll do the life springs after this. 
Thank you. Well. The cheating cheater. Whoa! Oh, cool! Oh, yeah. Oh, this is what we ran into earlier. It was Proto Relic. That's fun. No, I already did all the combat encounters. If it was if it was combat encounters, we would have had it marked already, and I would have been like, shit. Ah! <laughs> Chum scare. Whoa! Cities! An orange cactrot. That's so fun. Allow me. Assess? The tonical fiends of the succulent variety, mainly found in arid regions, their bodies have adopted an autumnal hue. The shyest of the species, these cactars dash to and fro, cheeks as, cheeks as red as the walls of Cosmo Canyon, Jesus. Uh, hitting them with physical, typically too bad. Okay, so they're the same, basically. You're done. Going all out. Gotcha. Let's finish this. Come on, that wasn't so bad. Once you once you land a single uh, focus thrust, you kind it kind of gives you the momentum to kill all the rest of them within like two seconds, which is nice. Music. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. Wait. I think I think it kind of is. I think it's the same. Any more of these amazing rocks out there? I'll shut up. Liability is most impressive. Whatever. Let's go. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. This is from the. This is from the boat. That's so great. So it, uh, yeah, it's from the boat. It just uses a similar motif. Buggy is so fun, by the way, in case you were worried. One moment. Oh, Let's shit. Oh, we, oh, I hate these. It's, it's so easy to get into a combat encounter with these you don't want to get into, because... They're hiding, so you can just run into them. That's it. Yes. It's so great seeing the party all together, even if they're not in the fight. I know. I, I genuinely, the, it, it would have been, I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. It would have been so easy for them to just like hide party members that were not in your immediate group in the overworld, but they didn't. 
They they made sure everybody was standing next to you the entire game. Like, unless there's a legitimate story reason why they're off doing something else. But, like, it's so sick. It's so sick. They're just hanging out. Down we go. Good lord. <laughs> Ten? What are these guys wearing little t shirts? What is this? Oh, they're adorable. But what are they saying? You know? To them, the proto relic is the treasure of the sands, it seems, which they have kept safe for generations. Moreover, they are duty-bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. Okay. Who that is. Hmm. For all we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on. And you a would sec. know. Who are you calling a fairy? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> no need for all that. Name's G. Kid G. Descended from a long line of goblins. Who is this guy? <laughs> what am I looking at? He was in the gold saucer? I look after these cactuars. You mean like it's in this game? He was in the I don't remember that at all. Wait. I might be insane. Talk? <sighs> Speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Given your present company, I'm shocked you haven't seen a movie that hologram. <laughs> you know, you know what? Maybe I did see him. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. <laughs> if you think you've got what it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove it first. <laughs> Where'd they all come from? <laughs> what the hell? This is goofy. And now your trial. Take down the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Who? Oh. Me? Test your might against an army of spiny speedsters in this race against the cock. Defeat as many cactuars as possible within the time limit. Each cactuar defeated will add to your score. Reach the target score before time runs out to win. It's, it, oh my God, it's like the boxes? Wait, that's why they have <laughs> numbers on them. <laughs> cactuars come in all shapes, sizes, and point values, but some even boasting special properties. For example, gladi gladiators are more susceptible to standard physical attacks while Magitoirs are invulnerable to magic attacks like Yuffie's ninjutsu. This is awesome. Cactuar crush. This is great. All right, yeah, let's give it a go. You so unfortunately did say the cock. No, I didn't. Oh, it's just Yuffie. I feel like I need to come in here and uh, assess them. You kind of did. No, I didn't. With the power of his providence. You're 
give to our time bonus, Supreme Art of War, please. Nice. This rules. And want to grow on. I actually wonder, do we have a sus? We don't. Okay. Let's do um wildfire on this group over here. This this is making me insane. <laughs> what am I what am I looking at right now? Oh, windstorm might actually be kind of kind of broken for this. Oh yeah. <laughs> These sound effects! Oh god, I'm I'm going I'm experiencing sensory overload to an extreme degree. Hold on. Oh, they're all gladiators. Never mind. Here, might as well just put on fire ninjutsu, so it's maybe a little stronger. Come on, come on. <laughs> Jesus, you me! Ah! Look out, look out! Okay, did we get it? We got something. Rank one, rank two. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You got rank three, let's go! First try. <laughs> Never heard anyone call it that before. But I'm a goblin of my word. So here. But I'm a goblin up your points. Here comes Chunky. And so, as promised, your a piece fragment. of the prize. Piece? We want the whole thing, shrimp! Then you're gonna need to go around and gather up the other bits. Put it together yourself. Right. So what you're saying is... That more trials await. And that yours truly will be your guide. See you next time. What an unexpected and exhilarating turn of events. <laughs> An yeah, ancient say. treasure guarded by an army of cactuars and a goblin. Not to mention the mysterious giant of the sands and the Book of Kings. Huh. Increase in body temperature detected. 
I believe I'm rather excited. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I've already picked up another signal from the Proto Relic. Or rather, the Treasure of the Sands. Head for Modular Reactor 2. Chadley, fun! Say, how many of these mini reactors are there anyway? Several. These modular Mako reactors were <laughs> erected just throughout like the desert not as a means of generating and supplying he is power not to here right now. To avoid accelerating the desertification the of the fuck region, ever, man. the reactors are periodically cycled between active and dormant states. Who would have thought all that glitz and glamour came at such a high cost? In any case, the reactors have been ingeniously repurposed by the Cactuars, and within these fortresses, they may secure their treasure. I honestly I doubt Shimmer so could produce anything yeah. half as resilient as this combination of sand and cactuar nectar. This is a guy looking at me. Please. Oh. Yay! Alright, part two. No. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. I... Okay, okay. Let's focus on the, the life springs then. How many do we have left? Just two. Nice. Let's go here. Um... The question is... The question we are waiting to answer is... Will it be to our crush every time? Uh, it's looking like it might be with the continued pack tour theming. Oh, I'm going the exact opposite direction. Vomit. I don't think I can do more Cactuar Crush. You're gonna listen to more Cactuar Nightmare and you'll enjoy it, okay? If you know what's good for you. It's like eating your vegetables. If you play FF7 Rebirth and you skip Cactuar Crush, you did not play FF7 Rebirth. I feel this strongly about it. Rise of the Gold Saucer. Let's read our Disney World Wikipedia page. <clears throat> the tale of the Gold Saucer began with a Shinner employee named Dio who convinced the company to build a museum called the Reliquary. Although it was doomed to failure, Dio was not to be deterred, and he set about founding the world's largest theme park, which he first conceived as a small-scale fairground. Fairground. <laughs> fairground. I mean, when I'm walking around, yeah. In the wake of the Corel Mako reactor explosion four years ago, plans were set in motion to revitalize the local economy. Hearing this, Dio decided to relocate his fairground to the region, eventually transforming it into a state-of-the-art entertainment complex. I find it rather simple. Now known as the Gold Saucer, it is powered by several modular reactors which are responsible for the surrounding area's accelerated desertification. In light of this, the reactors are now run at minimum output in an attempt to mitigate further damage to the environment. Yeah, Chadley told us that earlier. Wow. You know, they're so thoughtful. Good guy Shinra yet again. Corel has two Moogle places, I'm just now realizing. We never hit up this one even. Alright, so let's mark this and... Uh, I mean, we could just travel from right here. Lucky time. I don't know, you, you would think some crazy big corporation, they have no reason to care about the environment. But they've proven time and time again 
but they'll go above and beyond to keep you safe. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Okay, we're good. Nothing went wrong, really. Time to see the freaks. Time for a bad Please trip, Koopo. All the mooglets for me, Koopo. Let's drive worst driver. Over here. <laughs> I I disagree. I think Yuffie would be the worst driver. To be honest. Over here. Here we go. I almost had it with Moki. No, you Hello? You can't you no, you can't keep getting me from in there. That's cheating. I already got you. I already got you. You gotta take a knee. Stop! <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, he's got two little pom-poms now. How cute. <laughs> Please. Get in here. Get in the, get in the tornado. You're mine. Get roasted. Oh my god, you're all the way over here. Across the bridge? Man, fuck this. You have bombs? Stop! Go! Get in the, you're gonna get in the water? What are you doing? Ah! I can't, I, you, I, what? Hold on. <laughs> he's, he's cracked. Okay, here we go. No, stop, stop. <laughs> that's cheating. That's actually so, that's so fucked up, man. Get out of there. Come this way. <laughs> No, 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 this way. No more, no more Mo Dog. So much. I'll take less dog, thank you very much. Thanks so much for helping us get this Emporium open. You're the best. I Not hated many that. people know this, but the Emporium's founder, Mog, had a hard time learning how to fly. Good. He ate a ton of Koopa nuts and practiced every day until his wings finally worked. Bro it's really such ate an nuts. Inspiring story, <laughs> Koopa. Holy fuck. He's literally just handing that to me on a silver platter. Please shop to your heart's content, Koopa. What can we get nowadays? Ooh. I'll take it. Ooh, I'll take it. And I will continue to take it. <clears throat> I'll take it easy, but I will take it. All right, let's get out of here. Thanks so much. <laughs> Cloud, are you crying? I'm gonna hate when people laugh at me. Think just happened to happen. 
Was I lifting her? Oh my god. She, she was standing on it. I didn't even see that. I was not even looking at that. I was looking... <laughs> awesome. How did I not notice that? That's so funny. Okay. Uh... She said, wee! We gotta get her to do that again. We gotta do that with Tifa next time. smile. Unable to obtain a pearl ginger root. Stop. Stop. I can't even make him. Come on, man. <clears throat> I don't... Uh... Uh... This sucks. Berry time. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Wow, so you're really not supposed to do this Johnny mission until wow. a lot later. Good news. I believe I've ascertained the whereabouts of your royal quarry, the Tonberry King. Johnny wasn't that far off. Let's not keep your entrepreneurial friend waiting, lest he wither in the heat. Let's go. So lad Va is the last VOD missing? Well, I just hadn't uploaded it yet, but um, as of this stream, it might actually be missing. <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I'm not gonna speak it into, oh wow, it really was right here, nice. Heavy lies the crown, okay. So I do wanna bring him back like a pristine crown, so one sec. Mod to replace every party member with Chadley? Wrong. Mod to replace every party member with Mai. Do I have a preset with Kate I do not. Okay, so let's do, um, let's, does anybody need proficiency except for Kate Sith? No, okay. Well then we can have fun. Let's do, uh, <clears throat> Cloud. Kate Sith and Tifa. Yes. Cool. And then let's set Kate Sith as the leader so we get to play with him right away. <clears throat> also, no, the last VOD is not gonna be lost media um if push comes to shove i'll just have to upload the twitch version and just tell people what happened at the beginning i know literally like 99.9% .9 of people will not give a shit that it wouldn't be in 4k in fact i believe if i didn't say anything no one would even like bring it up if i didn't do that first but I just can't, I, the inconsistency would kill me to not, like, like to leave unaddressed. All right, so let me save. Yeah, I would know and that's all, that's all that matters. Arrived at 
the lair of the Tonberry King. That crown belongs on a far statelier head than his, namely yours. I say it's high time we divest him of it. Let's go. I love you, bye. All right, combat assignments. Oh, this brings up the map. All right, <clears throat> time to engage. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I just realized what I'm doing. Immediately like an unblockable attack, by the way. First thing. All right, fighting is Kate Sith. Kate Sith fights with a megaphone and his trusty Moogle mount. Press square to attack or summon his Moogle with the Let's Ride ability, which will unlock more of Kate Sith's ATV commands. As the Moogle attacks, its triangle meter will steadily fill. Press the button to deplete the meter and activate Moogle abilities like fight or defense. While astride the Moogle, God, this gets complicated. While astride the Moogle, hold down square to attack, to attack alongside your fuzzy pal. Press circle to dismount and triangle to remount. The Moogle will withdraw from the fight once his HP reaches zero, but can be summoned again at will. Anyone else having second thoughts? <laughs> okay. Oh my God, we got slowed. <laughs> Look at him go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Come on! Keep it up! Oh! Bring it! This one's a showstopper! What the fuck? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Ah, no, we got stopped! Okay, okay, okay. So let me, um... Let me assess. I think H just died immediately. A giant Tonberry that lives in a remote part of Corel Desert. Its elegant and noble appearance has earned it the title of king, as well as the gorgeous crown now adorning its head. It approaches the targets majestically, branding its knife, branding its, brandishing its knife and lantern with a fitting royal flair. Uh, inflicting enough damage when its attacks miss will pressure it. When pressured, it will drop its pristine crown, leaving the item vulnerable to being stolen. Its special attack renders the target incapacitated and unable to be revived. Okay. So you have to steal. Ooh. Inflicting enough damage. So, okay. So you have to dodge an attack. Then. You have to dodge an attack. Then attack it enough after. To pressure it. And then use steel. Which I. Which we might not even have. Um. Yeah, I don't think anyone has steel, unless Kate Sith does. I forget. I don't think so. Actually, hold on. Let me just, let me make sure. Can I please? Thank you. Okay, we try. It's the devil. Yeah, this is going to suck, I think. Uh, this might be the rest of the stream, just so you know. Um, okay. Did, any, did anyone have steel? Okay, this is definitely... Nope. And... Nope. Okay. Let's take... Auto unique ability. I'm gonna be honest. I was, um... I was thinking last night... And can I be real? I might actually remove... Basically everyone's... Like, auto ability and auto cast materia. Because I don't know if I prefer playing that way. It actually has led to a lot of cases where I am planning to use someone's ATB bar and then they use it for something that I had like no intention of, of doing. And then I just have to wait longer. Um, so I feel like I feel like I actually kind of like having more control over everyone, um, especially as I get more familiar with just like the flow of combat and like switching and everything. Um, yeah, I, I genuinely think, I think having auto cure is about the most that I will do. Like having that on Aerith, I think that's pretty reasonable. But otherwise, um, I don't know. You know what though? Yeah, auto cast on haste is actually not a bad idea in and of itself. I think, I think haste and cure are like, kind of what I might play around with. 
So yeah, let me give, uh, let me give maybe Kate Sith steel. What else does he have? Level boost, luck, magnify. Ooh, magnify. Love that. We'll take that off because that's not even being used for anything. So let's throw, um, let's throw time so that, so that he can use haste, which would be nice potentially to counteract slow. Um, and then we'll give him the steel materia. Give him red steel materia. I forgot red also had a maxed one. Um, actually, you know what? We could, uh, give him this one that isn't fully leveled so he can get some AP for it. Uh, yeah. All right. And then Tiva, Tiva needs more materia. So let's, um, let's throw, why did I just remove that? What even was that? Well, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's rebuild Tifa's uh, kit here. Let's just let's just start from the beginning. So, all right. Can we? Use anything here? Illusionist armband. Do we want something with more slots? Maybe like an enhanced gold coral armlet. That's just that just lowers all of my stats, though. And Queen's guard isn't any better. Okay, so then we'll we'll keep it like this, and then we will have probably like warding. Yo, warding against um like time materia actually could go crazy. One moment. Yo. Hmm. Do I have a luck materia that is already higher level? No, I don't actually. Oh, that's a bummer. All right. I think I might take the slight hit in luck and um, possibly throw warding on time so that Kate Sith is protected against like slow and stop. And then with Tifa, we will do warding and possibly like poison or something. No, you know what? Let's take warding off of Tifa. Let's throw a level boost on Tifa and maybe throw on like a like a chakra again. Yeah. I kind of like that. And then we can do magnify on healing. Maybe magnify on Revival, though we actually can't really. Hmm. Yo, magnify on empowerment. Physical and magic attack strengthening spells. And then for these two, I honestly might just throw on like uh, ATB boost and like an HP up. Cool. All right, no, wait, oh, we need steel, we need steel, duh. That's literally what I did this for. Does Kate have steel? Yes, cool, Never mind. we're good. Um, let's try this. I got so lost in it, I almost forgot steel. It's a good thing I did that first. Okay. God, the slow is a real nightmare. Okay, I got your so we'll assess just to have that. All right, so 
dodge an attack, then attack it repeatedly to pressure it, and then steal the crown. It's on you. It's my okay. Come on! Give it up! What do you got? Let's ride? Fortune telling? Deal damage great or small? I might try that really quick. No, no, no. Let's ride. Let's ride. Steven, what have you got? Uh, Star Shower. Here we go. Here we go. Kate Sid? Uh, steal the pristine crown. Nice! <laughs> All right, now we just have to. Now we just have to live. Shit, she's dead. All right. One deep crutch. Don't overdo it. Okay. What do we have? Roll the dice. Vein attack. Sure. I need to ride again, but I might try fortune telling. See if we can get that pressure up. Whoa, no! Oh, no, 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 no! Get out of here! Get out! Oh, he's like, oh, he's like stuck, stuck. Fortune tell the con the Tonberry King. Come on. Shit! Oh, this is a problem. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we got the crown pretty easily. But it seems like getting the crown is not a huge issue. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, the little guy got me. Yeah. So we, we can get the crown easy. We just need to be super careful after we do. Someone's a wee bit angry. Ha! Watch yourself. Taking over. Just making sure I get the That's assess. Right. God, slow is really... Slow is really causing problems for me right now. Who did I put? Um, I'm trying to remember who I put haste on. I think I gave that to. I think I gave that to Kate Sith. So let me switch to temporarily increased attack power. Is kind of a genius way to go right now. I think because that'll get us into pressured state a lot easier. If I had to guess. And also, I am no I so I noted last night that I'll see yeah, let's do let's throw haste on um Tifa. No me? Yes, me, because then I can just do Holy shit! Well, now we can't steal. That's a problem. I'm coming. I also don't think we let me let me try something, because I don't think we can revive. I think it says you can't revive if, if he kills you with one of his special attacks, which is why I didn't even try it last time. But maybe. Be careful. Oh no, you can. Oh, okay, I was I was not reviving last time because I I guess it, it's a specific attack that you can't revive from. Never mind, that's my bad. Here we go. Don't overdo it. They need you, kid. Hey, okay. steal the crown, steal the crown. Much like from the SpongeBob movie. Nice. Okay, now I desperately need to avoid any damage. Stalls. Okay. I'm telling Heat Wave Cold Front, roll the dice. What does your future hold? Six. What is that? 
My turn. Try this. Okay. Sunberry's gone. I don't know what. Oh, did that just increase my defense? That's great. Come on. Here. Use a potion, please. Ooh, we can also use a synergy ability. Use a potion. Okay, synergy. What have we got? Soldier Moogle class. Cloud hops aboard Kate Sits Moogle and lends it a sword to deliver fearsome slashes, raises their limit levels. Yes. Please. It's knocked down, it's knocked down. Switch. The AI is really good at dodging unblockable attacks. So one thing I've learned after trying to fight... Oh shit, okay. Huh. Use a... Uh... Fireball Blade. Kate Sith, do something. Tifa, do something. No, just just switch back to Cloud, back to Cloud. Punisher mode. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Awesome! Oh, that was great! That was so fun. You did it, Cloud! I now dub thee the new king of the Tonberries. By analyzing the king's biometrics, we can better understand Tonberry social structures. Our research proceeds apace. Thank you, Cloud. Oh man, we got the comparable <laughs> Yuffie. Hurry up and get this to Johnny. We got the pristine crown. We got the assess data. That was fantastic. That went really well. I'm so happy. All right, let's get out of here. <clears throat> Back to Johnny. Yeah, we got a visit from Mai. Nice little bonus. You got the assess before you died the first time? Yeah, but then I assessed it again, didn't I? You took down the Tonberry King for us? That was like the first Thanks, thing I did. bro. On behalf of all Johnnies. So, where's the crown? Hand over the... Ask how he thinks you'll get on. I'm gonna hand... I'll, I'll give him the pristine one. Whoa! Get a load of the shine on that baby! It is positively legendary! And we went through positively legendary trouble to get it for you. Yuvi, you weren't even in the fight, the technically. Of your labor are gonna be on full display. Man, well, actually, sorry, technically you were, but... When I see this. I'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel. Be sure to swing by when you have the chance. I'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you. <sighs> that was great. I'm like really, I'm like smiling right now. That was fun. Let me let me just make sure. Oh, enemy until. Because now y'all got me paranoid. Tom Berry King. Oh, but you know what we didn't get? The regular Tonberry. I wonder if we could... I wonder if we could redo that. At some point. Probably in the combat simulator or something. Tear the Deep. Did we not... What is this? Did I never... Did I not scan this one? Oh, I guess I didn't. That's so weird. Yeah, this is the fight. This is the fight before you get Yuffie. Or before you were introduced to Yuffie. That's crazy. The Dune Worm, too? Well, I've missed some, like, weird ones. 
But I beat the Doom Worm, the Dune Worm last night. I don't know how I missed that one. I guess, you know, but I will say I did fight the Doom Worm, the, the Dune Worm, like over and over again, because uh, one of the bonus challenges on the Dune Worm, like combat trial is uh, you have to beat it without any of your party members getting swallowed which took me like 10 tries. And then I, and, and, and that is how I learned, that is actually how I learned specifically that in order to reliably dodge unblockable attacks, um, a really good way to do it is to switch characters immediately as they're coming for you. Because like I said, the AI is really good at dodging unblockable attacks in this game. It. A karmic cow. Interesting. Please do not bother me. I don't want to fight you guys. Y'all are really annoying. Damn it. <laughs> Fine. Let's have some more fun with Kate Sith. I'm loving I'm loving Kate Sith's whole whole deal. So he's got he's got the kind of uh thing that Cloud has in that um if you dodge and then immediately attack after, uh it'll it'll do a ranged attack. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love this one. This thing is so fun. So then wait, so it's so then it's circle to hop off and then the and then the Moogle just goes in. This is fucking cool. He's actually he's actually awesome. Anyway, let's get fortune telling. Dude, he's so fun. I gotta do, um, I gotta do the combat training with him now, once we get back to Chadley. The Moogle can tank too, that's, that's fantastic. Wow. They, they really just, they nailed everyone's combat style in this game. Johnny, who is in Costa del Sol, and then um, now that we're in Costa del Sol, I will change everyone's outfit, and I will be sure to clear up things around this area um, so that we can stay in the outfits for a little longer. Uh, specifically, if we can get to this divine intel, I'll do that, and then. I'll do the Moogle Intel as well. I did, by the way, uh, another thing I did off stream that I forgot to mention. I did the uh, the extra Run Wild and Pirates Rampage challenges. Um, turns out there was only one each, and uh, it wasn't that it wasn't that special. So you didn't really miss anything. Passengers 
Oh yeah, I wonder if Kate has any any outfits. Not not so far. Look, also Yubi's got her gold saucer outfit. Oh my god, so cute. Yeah. All right. This is this is where I want everyone. Perfect. I thought they like. Vassage I thought they like had to piss, like something fierce. That is totally what that looks like for a second. To Del Sol in style with our wheelies and all the hotels are totally Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I know, honestly. Hey, Red should, like, have to. some some sunglasses or something. The fact that he has no outfits. When they already did silly walking on two legs, Red in the Shinra uniform earlier, anyway. It's, it's a travesty. What a charming. Whipped up a nice pot of Johnny's special soup. <laughs> Whipped up a nice pot of Johnny's special soup. Do not eat the special soup. I promise. It's special, but not in the way you think. Uh, better take another look at Go this on stupid on. boiler. Good news, bro! All of me made it back in one piece. And it sounds like I really put you through the ringer. Sorry. Literally about that. not one piece though. <laughs> no biggie. So, what now? Want me to poof him? What? No, not yet. We're in the middle of renovating, and I'm gonna need all my hands on deck to finish. At the end of the day, I want to be able to say I remodeled this place all by myself. Right, Johnnies? Yeah, yeah bro! <laughs> so yeah, uh, me and me are set on seeing this through the end. But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait. Yeah, bro. Welcome to the Johnny C. Remake. Remake. Shut up. Wow. Oh, it actually is looking. That's looking really snazzy. That's so cute. Wow. Oh. So, what do you think, bro? I'm impressed. I think I want that chest that's behind you. What is that? None of this would have been possible. You're absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Couldn't have done it without the J Squad either. J Squad, oh, shout out to J Squad. We're just doing what you would have done. Shout out to J Squad. We all want what's, what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our home. And, and none, none of us would, would be standing, standing here today if it weren't for you, you Johnny, Johnny Prime. Prime. Truly, you are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete, I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry, you got this, Johnny. Max fucking Jetty George, Squad. George. Shout Jet out to Jetty Squad. Shout yeah. out to that J Squad. <laughs> Johnny? You don't need us anymore, Johnny. You've got you. Johnny! Johnny! Us. Oh no! Johnny's! Ah. Oh. Poor thing. You know, this is a sadder death than era. I can't stand listening to them bicker. And now, I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. I lost a part of myself today. You gonna let that stop you? Huh? You've got a hotel to run. That's true. I remodeled this place with my own 14 hands. I owe it to me and myself to see that our hard work doesn't go to waste. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be seven Johnnies in one. <laughs> I think one of you's more than enough. Oh. That means a lot coming from you, bro. J Squad! Oh, almost forgot. Max 
Jetty jo Squad. George. Shout out to Jetty Squad. Yeah. Shout out to that Jetty Squad. <laughs> I set up a little space to show off your collection. I'd love to showcase any rare or interesting artifacts you happen to come across. And rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded for them. I've got my heart set on becoming the best in the business. So look out, Hotel Industry. Oh, he's been out of a fast we'll road with my yeah. from far and wide with luxurious lodgings and unbeatable hospitality. But you'll always have a room with your name on it, my bro. Because when you're here, you're Johnny. <laughs> okay. Johnny is amassing a collection. Oh, shit! Finally! Oh my god! I knew it! I knew there was going to be something to do with these. Johnny is amassing a collection of rare curios from all around the world to elevate his seaside inn to a seven-star institution. Win minigames and complete various objectives around the world to obtain collector's items and automatically donate them to your best bro. Press L2 to view your current treasure trove as well as hints on how to find more collector's items. That is so sick! Oh my god! The Loveless poster? Oh man. Donate 10 items to the treasure trove at Johnny's Inn. Donate 30 items to the treasure trove at Johnny's Inn. Holy fuck! 88? So what's this what's this treasure? This is red. This is like completely new. Johnny's secret chest is tightly locked. <gasps> oh my god. Is there gonna be something like really, really cool in here? We'll if I get all of them? With pride in our exclusive collection. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck the cutout! <laughs> to stay here now holy fuck okay let's look at everything one sec I don't know why. The decor here is oh my god look at all my silly stuff also can I just say I didn't really notice I was watching back one of a uh, Maximilian dude's vods of this game and he saw the loveless poster and like kind of stared at it for a second and this is insane this imagery don't know what that's supposed to... G edition. Anyway, we can, uh... Yeah. So... <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that pans out. I have my... Oh my god, my little motorcycle! The Queen's Blood board! Whoa! Now that's something I've never seen before. Oh my god. It's all my little Jonah's trinkets! Is actually his. It's all his friends. I'm actually crazy about this. Oh, oh shit! Oh, I wonder! Oh, so these are like for... Doing little challenges, like the... So this is for the piano. This is for, I assume, the snaps missions. And then that top one... I don't immediately I don't immediately know what that is, but oh god, the frog! Oh, I completely okay. Chocobo racing, the frog. Oh, this is great. It's all his friend stuff. The pieces are acquired tastes, but interesting. Actuar, these are so cool. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. Ah, wait, my save point trophy. Ah, All right, we'll take a look at this later. That is so. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Sorry, I'm like, I'm just so. I'm so happy. That's such, like they didn't have to do this. I would have never stayed there. The owner's collection of artifacts could prove interesting subject matter. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, now what? Let's check out this Moogle game as our next order of business. Oh, you're right. I totally should have saved next to it. I'll do that next time we're in that area. Oh, hey! Oh, you can get to the... Oh, wait. Do I want to go there first, then? 
We're like the same distance from both. I'll do this first. This will take less time. Corel's divine sanctuaries contain knowledge of the summoned entity, Alexander. Long ago, a great but wicked nation prospered in Corel. Legend tells that it was wiped out overnight by a giant mechanical construct. A construct called Alexander. Alexander. Very excited to see this one. Okay. Just doing the different raid songs. I don't. I actually still think I haven't done Alexander. Holy fuck! Bum 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 bum. Oh, I get it. I see. I know it. First try. Yeah, I don't even think I've done the normal Alexander raids. I need to. A lot of a lot of Heaven's Word content. I like. I really skimmed past when I was playing through that expansion. That's Heaven's Word, right? Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Back to the Chocobo stop. I mean, there, there will be a point in my time playing FF14 that I have done everything that is physically possible for me to do. I do intend to play that game for the rest of my life, so we have time. We visit to the Google house, maybe? I love you, Kate so. Ah, I literally... This game is so good at endearing me to every fucking character in existence. Um, even party members that I really did not care about when I first played. I'm just like, wow, I love you. You're my favorite person. Fourteen is not Noctis, no. Fourteen is the MMO. You are thinking of fifteen. Rounding up all the Mooglets for me? I mean, Noctis is, is, is in 14 as an event right now, I think, but he will not be there forever. <laughs> he just comes around occasionally. Whee! Oh, the mushroom jump. That's so fun. Did this, this bro just, you're too slow to me? What is this? Flip the switch and create a whirlwind. Oh, that's fun. I see. So we <laughs> start with this one. I'm bullying this this Moogle in particular. I'm so sorry about that. We don't have enough time. What the hell? Oh my god, they're unionizing. What the shit? Someone has to stop this. <laughs> Over here. Please. And makes me feel good. Get it? I take a second. That's fine. Here you go. 
I'm actually, I, I can't stop thinking about Dawn Trail. I'm obsessed with like, like I know there's no news. I know there is zero new tidbits about Dawn Trail that I have not already heard. I keep looking up like Dawn Trail You're such a great on YouTube Hello. and like Twitter reward, and Google, I'll tell you the story just hoping there is some kind of new thing so that I haven't heard about Even that I can get excited home, about. He still struggled to fly, but he never gave up. He kept on practicing, undeterred. Eventually, Mac noticed how hard he was working and decided she would do everything in her power to support him. Oh, wait, him. is this kind of the... As time passed, the two became closer. <gasps> wait, oh, this is like the story of the, the Moogle minigame from the OG Gold Saucer, right? And closer until one day... Just kind of expanded? <laughs> I'll leave the rest to your imagination. That's so cute. They're just telling that story. That's adorable. Good thing we have the PAX panel on Saturday. Oh man, don't give me hope. If we if we get a benchmark date by the end of the week, I'll cry. We probably won't. It'll probably be um, at earliest. At earliest, it'll be the. Uh, the 14 hour live stream that we hear about. Anything like that. I just, I desperately hope we, we get a release date for the, I mean, I hope we get a release date for the game itself, but I would love to know when to expect the benchmark because the benchmark is really gonna, the benchmark is gonna hold me over until the release. Cause right now I am most ravenously excited about the, the new character creation update with Femroth and the graphics update. I like, I just want to see right now, a lot of my hype energy is going towards thinking about how the graphics update is going to look on my screen. If I can see that with the benchmark before the game comes out, I'll be good. I'll be, I'll be, I should be, I mean, I'll still be excited and like kind of impatient, but not to the same degree. Cause I, cause I feel like everything we've seen about the graphics update is like in sort of contextless still images and whatnot. Like, I feel like I want to see like the full environments active with like a bunch of characters moving around and like the actual lighting conditions of the game. Like I need to just like see it just play out in something. I want to see like a populated city with it because that's, oh my God, I literally, I didn't get everything. What am I doing? It says you're unable to obtain stuff. Did it say that? I missed that. Oh, 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 that was just the, that was just the, oh, the, just the materials. I gotcha. Oh, well, maybe, uh, oh, it's up here. I knew it. Okay. I can, I can, I can give up a sprig of sage. That's fine. It's not doing a lot for me right now. I, yeah, I will be, I will be full up on materials more often than not. I feel like that's just... For some reason, they put the materials cap at 99 in this game, but they also put materials everywhere and gave you every excuse to run around constantly picking them up. So that's that's on them. That's their fault. Um. Okay. I am going to briefly step away again. Uh, super briefly, hopefully. Um, I will be right back. And when I am back, I'll probably pick up these side missions and do uh I'll I'll do this Queen's Blood match when I get back. All right, here we go. heads, welcome back. What did I say I was gonna do? Oh yeah, I said I was gonna pick up these. I said I was gonna pick up the 
side quests on the notice boards and then do uh, Queen's Blood. So if you need some good news, all the Spider-Man movies are coming back to theaters. I've heard this news. It is good news. Um, it'll be good news for the first three. <laughs> and then from there, you know, you kind of got to take your pick. Can you stop screaming in my ear, please? I'm trying to talk to chat. Like all of them. The first three. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I guess I guess I don't like Spider-Man 3, huh? I guess, so I guess the first two, if we're being really semantic about it. But I don't know, even Spider-Man 3 is like... It's at least some people like it. It's like intro. I mean, some people like all of them. What am I talking about? If I'm really standing by my opinions, I, I yeah, the first two. And then the rest are like kind of hit or miss. Um, we Yeah, so we watched The Amazing Spider-Man 1 in, in the Discord the other night for movie night. I like that movie less and less every time I see it. We're going to watch The Amazing Spider-Man 2 this week, by the way, if you want to join us for that. Uh, exclamation point Discord in the chat to get the link to that. Um, that'll be on Thursday, which is when we do movie nights. Um, yeah, Tasm 1, I, I like it less and less every time I watch it, and... I really did not enjoy it a whole lot this time. Um, and genuinely, I'm waiting until I watch it to solidify this opinion, because the fact that this might be true scares me. But remembering watching Tasm 2 and thinking about the experience I just had re-watching Tasm 1, though Tasm 2 is an infinitely worse movie, and I do believe that, it is really, really bad. It is genuinely so fucking bad. I actually think I might like the experience of watching it more than Tasm 1. Just because of how novelly, like, bad it is. Um, and also, the highs in Tasm 2 are a lot higher than Tasm 1. Even the good moments of Tasm 1 are, like, not... Like, they, they never hit the peaks of the Raimi series, for example. Um, and Tasm 2, the good scenes in Tasm 2 are like some of the best scenes in any live-action Spider-Man property. But, anyway. Missing Mr. Birdie. Mr. Birdie's buddies. <laughs> what is this? I think we're all lookout. Mr. Birdie didn't come home for dinner and no one knows where he is. Worried something might have... Something bad might have happened to him. Can anyone help us find him, please? I'll help you find Mr. Birdie. Aw. I'm so sad now. What happened to Mr. Birdie? Okay. Okay, Mr. Birdie's buddies are over here. Um. Oh, shit. Wait. Is that the... Wait, then where's the where's the last side quest? If, if that just took off the that just took away the side quest on that other notice board, so huh. We might get it after, I guess. Let me go to North Corral. We'll check it out either way. What I haven't watched the film basically since it came out, but I'm still mad about the crane scene in Tasm One. That's crazy, because if you ask me, I say that's that's one of the only good scenes in that movie. I mean, it, you know, it's again, it's it's not, it's never even remotely as good as any of the like New York comes together to help Spider-Man moments in the Raimi trilogy, but it is still a New York comes together to help Spider-Man moment, which I think kind of fucks no matter what. He doesn't need the cranes to swing, he's Spider-Man. You need to watch the movie again. <laughs> I think you missed the point. He get he gets shot <laughs> before that happens. And usually his swinging requires a lot of use of his legs. Because he'll like he'll like you see him, he's constantly like in order to maneuver around 
his swings, he has to like run on walls and like jump over shit. Like that's his swinging style. So if he can't use his legs, it becomes infinitely harder. So the cranes just help him like get a straight shot. Please come back, Mr. Birdie. Oh, it's a Barrett quest. What? Mommy said I'm not supposed to talk to you. Oh, is that so? Well then, why don't you talk to this old fella instead? <laughs> He's tough. Tougher than he looks. And real good at solving people's problems, right? <laughs> this old fella. For the right price, someone's a softy. Old fella? Oh, shit. Of course, I'm soft on kids. Helping them's what we do. So true, Thanks man. Well, what's the problem? Uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. Oh, Mr. Birdie's a bird friend of ours? His head is all pointy. Kind of like yours, mister. They really oh, love this bit. I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. Cloud Jr., oh my Who's god. That? Your bird friend. He had a run-in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. No way! You guys, Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert. What? But well, we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said there's some old birdhouses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. He said those are good places to set traps. Oh, and my mommy told me you can craft them yourself if you've got the right chip. Don't you worry. We'll get those bird traps ready in no time, won't we? <laughs> All right, then. Let's go find our bird buddy. He'll definitely be happy to see you. At least somebody will be. I understand there's no making amends for how I did these people wrong, but... I want to help. Aww. I need to help. What happened with the reactor wasn't your fault, you know? I could have told you that. No, I ain't the one who proposed building the damn thing. That was Shinra. Just hitched my wagon to it. Right. Took a while to accept that, though. Hell, I did everything in my power to avoid thinking about it at all. One sec. Where does it want us to go? We're, like, supposed to be, like, walking towards it right now, I think. But I want to stay here in town, so I got to just, like, sit and listen. Eventually, I realized the excuses I was clinging to weren't making me feel any better. What happened in Corral? That's my burden to bear. <laughs> just don't go breaking your back. Yeah, well, it's stronger than you think. I won't pretend Aww. it's all for the kids. End of the day, I'm doing this for me. And Cloud Jr. Cloud should have said that. And Cloud Jr. Yeah, and Cloud Jr. I heard that you assisted the Moogles in opening their shop. It's said that Moogle Metals, their unique currency, is imbued with a preternatural power to lift one's spirits. Perhaps collecting these metals and delivering them to the Moogles will bring us that much closer to a planet replete with joy and laughter. Motherfucker said replete. Get his ass. Okay, uh... Yeah, we'll throw auto weapon ability on there. Oh, actually, I, I actually just have all of these. No, but. I have to spend all of my points or I'll die, so. You understand. Cool. Just need two more of these. All right. Quick, quick pop into the combat simulator. Real quick. I I could try to take Alexander right now, but that would take a long time. We still gotta do Queen's Blood. So let's just try uh maybe a battle intel or biological intel. We get self-destruct for this one, yes. Awesome. Oh we need to we need to do uh Kate Sith's training so that we can get luck up. Uh, with one star on it. And also, just so that we could play around. I don't 
think I've used any enemy skills. Um, a square to perform combo attacks with Kate Sith's megaphone. Hold it down to unleash a magical sound wave that harms nearby opponents. Pressing square after dodging will also unleash a magical sound wave. Press triangle while Kate Sith is by himself to execute Kitty Wallop, a pouncing attack. Oh, I never used this. He can also summon a Moogle to fight alongside him. Got it. God, he's so fun. <laughs> he's so silly. Can I get some sillies in chat, please? You ready to rub it in? Yo, Kitty Wallop actually. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Holy moly. Thank you for the sillies. Let's ride. Summons a giant Moogle to fight alongside Kate Sith. While on the field, the Moogle will attack enemies independently. They will withdraw from the battle once the HP reaches zero, but can be summoned again at will. Using Let's Ride while the Moogle... I love this music. Using Let's Ride while the Moogle is summoned will fully restore its HP and remount Kate Sith that he is not already mounted. Oh, interesting. Summon Kate Sith's abilities, um, including its limit break, can only be used while the Moogle is on the field. Activating one of these Moogle abilities will cause Kate Sith to automatically hop before his flush power. Got it. You're gonna love this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's ride. Kate Sith will immediately hop onto his Moogle once it is summoned, but can dismount by pressing circle and remount with triangle. Bring the Moogle for Spirit to attack alongside a flush pal. Hold it down to initiate a combo. Oh. Targeting the same foe while mounted will increase the power of your attacks and fill the ATV gauge faster. Dismounting will allow you to choose separate targets. Got it. Brace yourself. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, let's work on our proficiency while we're in here. What you telling? Whoa! Okay. Oh, we got that. Noticing that it has a lot more range if we use it on the Moogle. Keeping a keeping note of that one. It, yeah, his damage is insane. Maybe he's not purely a support. Well, obviously none of them are purely support, but he has a lot more DPS capability than I expected. As the Moogle attacks, the Moogle meter will continue to fill. Press triangle while mounted to deplete the meter and activate a Moogle ability. The default level one ability is drop kick, a powerful physical attack. Straight up, Kate Sith is like actually so fun. This is this is crazy. No. <laughs> you can do a roll. Oh, awesome! Wait. Oh, that's so cool. The problem is that he's very slow on the Moogle, and also he's not even taking that much damage right now. I think it's, is it because the Moogle's taking damage instead? Yeah, that's why. Wait, that's sick. That's really good. What? You could have warned me. The Moogle just takes all damage? I wonder if it's like a hitbox thing or if it really just takes all damage when you're standing. That's crazy, okay. And you can heal it by using Let's Ride. This is fucking insane. Okay, uh, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, I want to build his uh, triangle meter. Oh wait, can I just, there we go. Oh, I think I understand. So we, if we use drop kick enough, yeah, okay. So, we use triangle to use the ability which fills the meter and then levels it up if we're able to use it enough times. When the Moogle meter grant when the Moogle meter gains one charge, Kate Sith can activate support abilities such as Fight, Defense, and Go Wild. Fight grants the party bravery and faith. Defense grants the party protect and shell. Go wild grants the party berserk. At two charges he can activate enfeebling abilities such as silent slam, inflict silence. Stop Strike, Toxic Tackle, or Petrify Pile Drive. 
Jesus Christ. These abilities will be made available at random. Yeah, okay. So so that's the one thing about Kate Sith is that he's very RNG based. So like he's fun as hell and he is very powerful. But if you're not lucky, his his overall effectiveness could be hindered. And also, it's hard to it's hard to count on him for specific situations because it's kind of a, a toss-up as to what you get. Still, very, very cool. Roll a die, resulting effects. Let's do, um... Let's do dodge and dive. Jesus Christ, he's kitty wall of damage. Maybe it's just because these guys are low level, but that is a ton of damage. Kateseth can learn other abilities as well, including dodge and dive and roll the dice. Oh shit! Oh, here's a, here's a chart that tells us what we got. Okay, so one on roll the dice is fire and thunder. Is that... I assume that hurts us. Two is hyper beam. <laughs> Three is arrow and blizzard. Four is total outrage. Oh no, wait. Maybe, maybe it doesn't hurt us. Maybe it's just... I guess it wouldn't make sense for that to hurt us. But, I mean, it kind of would be funny, but I think that's just, it does a fire and thunder attack or something. Uh, total outrage, regenerative aura, regenerative aura, regenerative aura, Jesus, expansive shield, which is what we got in the Tonberry fight. Oh my god! I know, I want to see his limit break. That well, a round of applause. well, he's kind of sick with it. Well, he's kind of fucking awesome. I really like him. I really like his playstyle. That is so cool. Okay, do we want to grab self-destruct while we're at it? Yeah, let's go for it. So here's here's a fun thing about the combat simulator is that you don't even have to include cloud if you don't want. So we could do fucking Yuffie, Kate Sith, and Tifa if we wanted, which I do. Oh god, it's the Mind Flare. Why is this a different one than... Do I have Assess, by the way? I don't think I have Assess. Oh, I do. Landing Synergy Abilities for Pressure Rate. You got it. resistant to like everything here we go here tank it <laughs> we get our moogle to tank it hold on tiva use uh Strike? No, use Star Shower. <laughs> oh, 
Well, we got three, which is Arrow and Blizzard. How fun is that? Oh my god. So cool. Oh wait, can Kinseth not- wait. Can Kinseth not use synergy abilities? He doesn't even have the menu option. I wonder if that's like a story thing or... Curse it or... He, he has synergy building abilities, so I wonder... Huh, interesting. Oh yeah, no, we were we were able to do one with Cloud. Oh, oh, we maybe yeah, we just don't have any with Tiva and UV. Duh, that makes sense. Never mind. Here, let me get back on the Moogle and then do fortune telling. Well, then in that case, we'll just focus on doing it with UV and Tifa, who both need three. So for now, let's. Uh, give the Mind Flayer some Art of War. Then Tiva. Focus Strike. I should use Star Shower. That's okay, though. Because now we can use Cyclone Kick. Nice. Fortune Telling, please. And somersault. Easy. What's a good word to describe me? I'm thinking legendary. Oh, this game's combat is sincerely just so, so addictive. Okay, and I'll, I'll save these three for later. All right, let's do... Thanks to you, my archives are filling up with combat data. Queen's Blood. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Join in her lament. Maybe I should get in on this. You took everything from me! Oh no. <laughs> First I go to sleep. Take whatever beds are open. Let me sleep. It's time you moved on. True. Well, I'll be. Not often we get this. Oh, you know what? Since we have Kate Sith's proficiency on his weapon, I might want to give him back. Yeah, I'm going to give him back the yellow megaphone because this has more materia. Slots. Oh, a Moogle decoy. We can, oh, we can make the Moogle a tank. Awesome. Draws attention. Absolutely. And reduces. To, we can actually make the Moogle a tank. Oh, my God. Ooh, Lucky Jockey is also really good. Oh man, this is awesome. Okay, no, we're making, we're making the Moogle a tank without question. That is so fun. Okay, so let me, uh, let me remove steel since we don't really need that anymore. Let me also, um, I'm gonna keep warding in time, but I'm gonna do luck up and I think I'm gonna put, uh, Actually, do we have a... I don't think we have a better look up. I think the one we just got from that was uh, just a one star, which... Yep, so now we just have three one stars. So what I'll do is I'll put... Um, I'll put the level up materia back on... Yeah, I'll put level boost back on luck up. And then we can just give something else to Tifa. Look up on, on level boost. And then for yellow materia, I think Kate Sith should have. Hmm. I mean, he could have steel, especially since he has luck up as well. Yeah, he can keep steel. You know what? We'll throw that back on there. 
And then let's do uh Steadfast Block or Strike Provoke. Honestly, it'd be funny to put another luck up on him, like a second one. Yeah, luck does affect his luck-based abilities. He starts with a luck up materia, um, which very much implies that they are directly linked. We could do binding, poison. Could give him cleansing materia. Sure. Just that we're leveling it, maybe. You know what? I think we should have maybe Cloud, Kate, Sith, and Aerith on a team. Because Kate, Sith does not have a lot of, like, um, healing stuff to work with here. You auto cast on. Uh, no, that probably works with. I don't know, actually. Nice magnify on chakra. No, that 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 makes sense. I actually still really like magnify on something. The idea of that. Okay, well then we'll just um. Man, I have to really, uh, I have to sort out my materia situation, but for now, I'll just throw, like, a... Like a... an HP up on Tifa? Another one? No. No, let's do a... ATD stagger. That actually, that makes a lot more sense. I don't know why I didn't have that on her to begin with. Cool. And Cloud can stay about right here, I think. Do I need him to have lightning? Do I want him to have lightning? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really... I'm not dissatisfied with Cloud's setup right now. We'll keep it as is. Um, and we'll make him the leader again. The Queen's Blood match is down, so we will head down. Do us a favor and scram. Sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. Here we go. Alright, there it is. Give me back! All right, get ready. Get ready for the return of Starter Deck Susan. So, you have begun to fulfill your potential. Long have I awaited this day. Freaking Sally's return. <laughs> At ease, young soldier. I took your measure the moment you set foot in this town. Hard not to, given your presence. I am Navalon of the Thousand Eyes. Years of meditation have granted me sight beyond sight. It is this clarity which shows me all, even that which some wish to keep hidden. Wait, this is the wizard. Someone harm him. Powerful yet troubled aura. Indeed, it makes you the perfect opponent. Come, and don't you dare hold anything back. Okay. Let's give it a go. You <laughs> may take the shot. Bagnadrana. need two J unit sweepers, I don't think. Nice. Ooh, this could actually work out for us. One sec. 
Wait. Nope. I thought for sure. Does he also only have the starter deck? Hold on. Hold on. I may have finally met my match. One sec. I have somewhat of an idea. Oh, here we go. He's only using starter cards. Oh my god. Oh boy. He knows the fucking truth. He sees it. He sees it like I did. Oh, never mind. He's a fucking coward. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's it. That's it for me. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Harm the wizard. Okay. This one is... Please. There we go. I have a different plan. He did. He learned. Yeah, he he made me think he was starter deck only. I see. I see his games now. Don't worry. Don't worry. We won't fall for this again. Queen B, that's an issue. But we still have a chance. Interesting. God, I really, really wish they would give me like a Queen B or something. Here's here's the thing. Maybe I can- maybe I can encourage him to stall until they give us a Queen Bee. Or- no, 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 hold on. I feel like this is the play. I feel like this is the play, because watch this. We can secure this top row right away. Then all- all he can do is- <laughs> well, fuck me over, basically, is what just happened. Uh-oh. I need a queen bee here, please. Ooh. No, it's over. It's over. rid of the sweeper for now. I don't know if I need the magic pot, but we'll keep it just in case. You don't you don't want to you don't want to need a magic pot and not have it, you know. God, they just came there right back to me. Come on, man. Can you do me one favor and stop fucking around like that? How many queen bees are in the starter deck? I think two.
<laughs> oh, 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 baby. Look at what you've done. Look at what you've done. No matter. Please give me another queen bee. No! Fuck! That uh, doesn't matter. Damn it. Oh my god, that's it. That's it. Ooh. Wait. There's maybe still a chance? There's maybe still a chance. <gasps> oh shit! No way! Oh my god, we won! Right? No, no, no. Oh, sorry. That was just my turn. I thought he passed for a second. We actually might still have this. Hold on. I'm waiting it out. He keeps destroying his cards up there, which is concerning to me. Stop doing that. <laughs> He's just gonna keep doing that over and over again. He keeps destroying his cards. What are you trying to do? What is he doing? I I really want to see this. What is he doing? Yeah, he's burning his one cost cards. To what end? Is he powering up another card? No, because you can't power the... That's... an interesting play. Uh... Okay. That's, that's like really good for me. What is he trying to do? I almost wanna, I wanna pass because if he passes, then he's just playing cards because he has to. Hold on, hold on. No, but do I want to leave this slot open for him to potentially take, is the problem. I mean, it's not like this one matters that much. Because, I mean, I can't, I can't win this lane anyway. However... Oh, shit! <laughs> well, we won. <laughs> Nice! He's kind of stupid. <laughs> Thankfully, my guy was an idiot. Whoa! My name is Ladrell Balmont. Ladrell Balmont. And I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood. Are you trapped in your game? Which means that... This nightmare is of my own. Man. Did he get Jumanji too? We already know that we already know that people can get Jumanji in this world because of Fort Contour. Which, by the way, I might try after this. I didn't know. How could I? <laughs> you hear her too. Time's running out. She's calling me, commanding me. She's made me her prisoner. Her cursed guard, my shackle. The end is nigh. Or perhaps. Yeah, see. This is only the beginning. Is he trapped by the queen? The, the titular queen blood from Queen's Blood? The Shadow Blood Queen, yes! Awesome! I, I'm crazy. Ah, let me guess. You have dreamt the dream of Ladrell Balmon too. What do you know about it? They made a sequel to Ladrell Balmon? Only rumors and hearsay that players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator, who speaks of portentous events. To add another wrinkle, 
Some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths. People are calling this the Curse of the Drell. Not even my third eye can discern the true cause, though it is clearly something sinister. I'll have to buy a force to continue on the path of the card. Then remain vigilant, or it may lead to your undoing. So people have died. <laughs> That's crazy. I love that. Okay. Um, it might be okay. I think. I think it is time to try Fort Condor hard. So we're gonna have to take a real big detour for a second. So I believe in order to get back to Fort Condor, because I don't think we can fast travel directly from the world map. Yeah, currently unavailable. So <clears throat> we need to travel by boat again, which means we need to go back to Costa del Sol. And head to the ferry boat dock. So let's head to the Rentabird Stables. This better be worth it. <laughs> this better, I don't know. I better get this in like one try. Oh, this way. What's that helicopter marker? I assume transport to the gold saucer. Where's my next drop off spot? Two pizzas. You hear about that nest on the beach? Glad I wasn't there. Smell that? Hey, what? I mean, I can just check. What is this? Oh, Haliport. I wonder if that is exclusively gold saucer. I mean. I'll go by boat. Why not? Hello, lady. Hang loose. We offer service to under Junon by way of Junon proper. Once we arrive in port, passengers must transfer to a smaller vessel. But you'll be in good hands all the way to your destination. Ooh! Oh, we can go right to a ranch. How fun is that? Yeah. Let's go to Gabe's Ranch. It's just that quick. That actually, that was not bad at all. I actually do wonder, could we just so, get to... We somewhere. Oh my god, we can go anywhere by any of these. Oh, that's fantastic, actually. Another time. We don't actually have to go all the way to... We just have to go to one of these red fast travel spots. That's great. Oh, here we go. There it is. Yeah, that's very handy. All right. Oh, I miss this music, actually. I really like the Junon music. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. In hard mode, take control of the reconstructed Condor Cavalry to defeat the advancing Shinra forces. While the enemy units are still just as powerful, the Cavalry spirit is now broken and your allies are fatigued, making your job as their captain that much more difficult. What do you mean? Okay, let's start with just a pretty reasonable spread here. I also have a new somewhat of a new strategy like strategic approach um someone pointed out in the comments to the last time i played port condor that in the early game um i kept putting my units basically like on their end of the board or like essentially just making sure that at the very beginning of the game all of the skirmishes 
would happen on their side, which was burning through my early game troops because not only was I facing against all of the other side's troops, but also their towers. So if I can reverse that approach and get them to come over to my side and burn through like all of their early game troops with my towers, that might be an easier way to do it. So we're gonna try doing something like that. No promises that this will work out, but we're gonna try to keep that in mind. Oh, all the troops have limited quantities. That's, that's very true, actually. So I'm actually gonna let them come over here. And when they get over here, we will throw some defense troops at them. In fact, we'll do... Let's just do one regular enforcer. And then on this side, let's take a range guy and have him come over here. Now, the issue with this approach is that we do still have to worry about the time limit. But I think if we're not constantly in like a forever loop, oh no, I put the wrong guy here. I just noticed. He's too arranged, that's fine. Okay. So far so good for the most part actually. My shield guy is gone, though. This is a bummer. Let's throw an elite enforcer right here. And then maybe an elite ranger. Okay. Well, we're certainly... Burning through them a little bit. But we have not made any progress, which is a problem. And now all of the momentum is like on their end, I'm noticing. Let's just throw Tifa out here. Not Tifa, a guy, just any guy. I might wait for. I'm gonna wait for an elite. Be available. There we go. All right. So now I think we need to start pushing. So let me throw. Let's throw Cloud right here because they're about to start sending sword guys on this end. All right. Uh, shit. Who has the most advantage over here? Let's throw an elite. No. Elite ranger. Let's throw an elite vanguard. And a cleric. Wait, nope. Hold on. Ooh, Tiva. Might be able to do something. I'm kind of panicking right now, but that's okay. So a cleric right here, and send another cleric out here. I don't have any regular enforcers left, which is a problem. Okay. Let's get an elite ranger right here. Clara, kill someone, please. Kill Cloud. It's not doing nothing. Cloud is dead, which is an issue, but we take what we can get. We take what we can get. Ranger. Don't worry about this tower. Don't worry about the tower. This is actually, this is working. That is actually crazy. 
That was, yeah, that wasn't that bad. We might have, we might have sussed it out. It makes sense. It's a lot easier when we're not burning through all of our, um, all of our early game units and we can actually, like, put those same units towards, uh, the end game. Is that everything? I think that was... That was it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That wasn't even a problem. Nice. Alright, well. Shoot. Let's, uh... Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. There's more. Right. Okay, if we go stage by stage, we play all of them. Oh, okay. There is more. There's actually all four of them, in fact. All right. Let's keep it going, then. I thought I was Man, done. I really wanted to go, too. I'm like a Grandmaster level player, I'll have you know. You compete as a kid? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Picked it up while I was a Midgar. Just yes. Just goes to show I'm a natural-born tactician. Maybe I should have gotten into it earlier. Oh. Think I could still learn the basics? I could teach you a few tricks, but you know who I bet has serious potential? Red. What do you say to that? I accept any and all challengers. Oh, someone sounds confident. No backing out, okay? Listen to y'all. As if we've got nothing better to do. That was awesome. That's great. Okay. Man. Armored Commander. I think for this one, I think I want to go maybe full offense focus and see how that works out. Potentially. For speed reasons. I heard this dialogue in the first go because I went all the way to Costa del Sol before clearing out Junon. That's awesome. Okay, let's throw in a regular enforcer. As well as a cleric to help him out. A regular vanguard as well. Damn, okay. Ooh! How about an elite vanguard then? Because Jesus Christ. Maybe. Actually, an elite ranger. We put like an elite ranger like back here. That might help us out a little. Oh, yikes! No, we need an elite vanguard. Never mind. It's all going wrong. It's okay. Let's just let's just let them do their thing. Take out these guys. All right. I'm gonna save a cleric. So I'll just do a regular vanguard right about here. And I don't have enough for an elite ranger, but I can do that now. I feel way less confident about this one so far. It's not feeling impossible, but. It's a toughie. Let's 
Okay, fine. I'll put a cleric out. Yikes. Keep it time? Yes. What's on this side? Oh, trouble. Come on. Come on, go, go, go. believe this is like single-handedly given us victory first try so far this this minor change in positional strategy Yeah, first time playing, I noticed the tower is melting you. I noticed it too. It's just my problem. I did not, I was so stressed out that I did not follow up that thought with, oh, maybe I can do that to them <laughs> instead. I was just like, why is this happening? <laughs> it's just cause I don't, I don't think in terms of revenge, you know? I'm so passive. All right, I think this time I want to do Tifa and Barrett, maybe. That feels... No, actually... Wait, maybe... Maybe yes I do. No, maybe I want to do Cloud and Barrett. Because... Um, you know. No, I want to do Tifa and Barrett, and then for for ally units, I want to do offense focused. Yes, again, sure. Let's try it this time. All right, come over here. Have your fun. All right, you're ranged, so you're gonna start attacking pretty much right away. Do an elite vanguard on that side and a normal vanguard on this side. Oh my God, it's that simple. Don't walk too far ahead. guy he was too stupid to live
you go? <laughs> Foolish. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. This trebuchet is hitting absolutely nothing, though. Which is a real bummer. Enforcer. Yeah. Yeah, he was putting the work in. We we honor his sacrifice. Alright. We need them to hurry up, please. Why do I why do I have two trebuchets? Aligned like that. That's stupid. Why did I do that? That's okay. Alright, come on. It's ranger time. Barret. Get in there. Elite. And then. Tiva. Tear through them. That can happen, that can happen. That's okay, that's fine. Nice. All right, this one might be a little bit of a choke point because now we have to fight Greg. Uh, hand to hand and he has his crazy like affinity swapping thing which could be the end of us however we will stick to the strategy which has honestly made this a fucking cakewalk I think I'm gonna stick with... You know what? I might do Cloud and Barret this time. Having Cloud's high health for that end push there is probably gonna help out a lot. And then... Could maybe do Stronghold Defense Focus so that we can place down a lot of uh, trebuchets and ballistas. Or we could do regular Defense Focus so that we have a good amount of uh, elite units and a cleric, two clerics, and ballistas, which I think are a little faster than trebuchets, so they do a tiny bit less damage. Having the elites might be worth it. Okay, let's try this one. We can try this lineup. If this doesn't work, I'll bring back the trebuchets because the trebuchets were kind of tearing through them. All right, what are we working with here? You're going to send a big guy my way, a defense guy, um, a cleric, I think. Yeah, and then this motherfucker. So... Let's throw out... We need an elite unit, I think, for this. We need definitely an elite... I want to say an elite ranger and a regular enforcer. Or maybe we just start with an elite for both of them. No, let's... Hold on. Let's wait until this guy's closer, and then we throw out a regular enforcer. And then over here, we're going to let them get got by... 
our... Oh, you know what? Let's throw a ballista, like, right here for now. Please heal. Thank you. So far, so good. Let's throw out an elite vanguard right here. This is a problem. Um... Sir. Okay, he's gonna push a little bit, which is fine. I don't know if I want to use here. Let's let's bring the cleric out. Uh, do I want to say? I'll, I'll save the cleric. He can do his thing for a second. What do we need? We need we need an elite ranger, I think. We're about to need a ranger. Is this guy an elite? Um, actually, you know what? Let's bring out an elite enforcer again. We because we need to continue building towards uh, Cloud and Barrett's quote limit here. That's right. Take him out. Take him out. Good. And then... Oh, here we go. So now with Barret, we can drop him right here. Take out this guy. Oh, I I didn't realize you were an enemy. So it's still, uh... Okay, I think I'm gonna push on this end. So now let's bring out an enforcer. And we'll get Cloud's thing going. Push, push, push. Cleric time. Here we go, push ahead, push ahead. Ooh, I we we had enough for the ballista to put it right there. That's okay. Uh, here. This is where we can throw Cloud out, maybe? Have them do some stuff. Kill this guy. Then immediate Ballista. Right here. And another one. Right here. Just, just keep, keep on him. Cloud's focusing on that tower, which is annoying, but he's allowed. Okay, Elite Enforcer. Oh, shit. Come on. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, we were so close. If we had pushed a little bit sooner... We could have gotten that. Okay, that was close. I feel good about that. Maybe we do want the ballistas for like a little bit more damage. Or sorry, the, the trebuchets. But then the problem is that... Ugh, if we go with this build, we lose Elite Enforcer, which I felt like was useful there. And if we go with this build, we lose Elite on anyone, which doesn't feel great. This, honestly, this feels like a great... Yeah, if Cloud... If we had put Cloud on the other side or something and just kind of let that... Let, like, let my tower take out the two unaffiliated ones. I actually feel like this build is probably our best bet. It's just we need to, um... Yeah, we need, we need to not... If Cloud didn't waste time on the tower, we could have gotten that. But we'll see. So let me actually, what I think I'll do this time is I'll put, oh man, I'll put a regular ranger back here for a moment and we'll just drop him off with like one cleric for now. Here, let me, 
Let me put a rain. Okay, yeah, so ranger, cleric, and an elite enforcer. I'll let them get hurt by those towers real quick. Let's see how much damage that does. Yeah, they're fine. Then I'll use my one ballista right here. And I'll save the other two for the end push. So we'll, we'll have to make this work, but I think we can. Let's do an elite vanguard back here. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ooh, that's dangerous. Okay, we might have to... Okay, thankfully they're really pushing on the right, which is helpful. Um, but that's concerning. Let's get this guy. Oh, they're helping out. That's great. That's great. Yes, good. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you know what? We might have a chance to... Please take out this guy. Real quick. Take out this guy. No, I, I was desperately hoping I could... Uh... Oh, man. That would have been awesome. I might do another Elite Enforcer right now. Wait, I can maybe push enough up here. Please, I really want to put a, I really want to put a Ballista right there. This is the problem. Let's do, let's do an Elite Ranger right about now. Come on. If we can start chipping away at his health right now, oh man, that might do everything for us. Hold up. Push. Uh, Elite Ranger. Cleric. And let's start. Just go, go, go. What are you doing? You motherfucker. That's fine. Barret. We actually might have enough time. Oh my god, we might actually have it. Please. Okay, let's do another. Uh, let's get a lot more range damage in there. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hold! Hold! We got it. We got it. Second try is not too bad on the last one, too. Man, that felt great. Oh, that felt really good. Okay. Well. Jeez, now what? <laughs> I guess let's uh, let's just go back to Corel. Maybe we get uh maybe we can look at Johnny's seaside place and see if we got a little trophy for that. Nothing beats a ride in a bird-drawn carriage. I know, yeah, the night and day difference between the experience of that versus how it first went down. Didn't he say, didn't they say this was a fast travel spot? They keep lying to me. Maybe, maybe outside of the town it is, I don't know. Oh, maybe, yeah, we need to zoom out. Oh, okay. You need to look at the overall map, got it. Ooh, 
Let's see. We get something for this that. It's Avant. Sorry for the visual noise of this. Looks like we maybe didn't get anything. Do get party XP. I will take that. I heard they got some unusual pieces here. Well, oh, really quickly, actually, um, I want to show you, I want to do this because I, last time we played this song, um, it was in that like noisy bar. So we didn't really get to hear it and like, we didn't get to hear it isolated in a room with good acoustics. So I'm going to, I want to play Barrett's theme in this, uh, piano room for you guys. I've also played it a couple times since, so I think I'm a little better at it than I was the first time. Was it not Pride of Condor Cavalry? Oh. I didn't see that one. There was a lot to look through. It could be. I'll look at it later. a lot easier to appreciate without the the noise background of <laughs> the environment we found it in it sounds really good all right Okay, there is still plenty to do. <laughs> we got the Proto Relic, we have Missing Mr. Birdie. I'm still very curious what this fifth quest is, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. What do I wanna get up to? I mean, Proto Relic seems like a good 
way to keep going. I just don't know if I feel like it. I want to play my. I want to play my little toys. I kind of want to go back to the gold saucer. Oh, I want to show you. Uh, let's do chocobo races. One sec. Then I, I might do the proto relic after that. Yeah, I may be reading it wrong. The fifth quest, yeah, it, I think it is the Cloud Junior quest. It's just... It's saying four out of five because we, we've we only finished four out of five. That's my bad. For some reason, I was like, oh, you know, there's two, there's two left because it was three out of five before we got the last one, but... That was before we finished Johnny's quest, so maybe that's what threw me off. Which of these races will you be competing in? Okay, so like I said, off stream, I did these first three, and they were very easy. I did them all first try. I'm assuming they're gonna get more difficult. Um, yeah, especially because this first next one is, uh, it has bomb balloons that will explode and slow down if you get too close. Uh, but yeah, this this is super cool. So look at the look at the map. All of the tracks take place in like different areas of this overall Chocobo racing map, and so they all have like different aesthetics and stuff. It's super cool. Um, so let's do this one. Um, and what I found is that I really like writing so far. I like writing with uh, Kaima and using this getup, which looks dreadful, but gives us some real good stats. You can probably see. Is insane and we get another one of these which is the craziest part oh not good Oh yeah, this is immediately more difficult. Ooh, I gotta get these blue ones. I think I think we're just gonna. All right, this is the, this, that that is the first one I have not gotten first try. <laughs> Why couldn't Final Fantasy XIV racing be like this? Uh, because Final Fantasy XIV is held together with glue and duct tape and prayer. I think it's 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 a miracle we have Chocobo racing in that game at all. Whoa, the music is different. I like that. I love this. I love this song. I did hear this. Uh, 
off stream, so this is not my first reaction to it, but it's really good still. There's gotta be a better way to get through that water. You think of a uh, one, two, 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 three, four. One, one, one. Two, 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 three, four. Oh, oh, is that a shortcut over there? Or at least it's an alternate route. I should try that next time. I'm actually kind of crazy happy with all of the vocal tracks on this OST. I'm gonna listen to those like crazy. I don't I don't often so like I obviously I love game music and, and game soundtracks. I love like instrumental tracks. Um but I don't casually listen to a lot of instrumental music. Um I find that I just I find vocal music more satisfying to listen to on my own time. But, um, oh, well, I mean, not but. So, like, since that is the case, I often find that a lot of game soundtracks I don't often listen to um, when I'm not actually playing games. There are exceptions. There are exceptions. Sometimes I'm just in the mood. But um, most of the time, I'll, I'll play, you know, like, songs with vocals and, like, licensed music and shit like that. Licensed music, I say. Um... However, this this soundtrack has a lot of vocal songs that I will find it a lot easier to listen to casually. Uh, like fucking Kyrie's song, this like chocobo music. Like there's there's so many tracks with vocals, um, which is great. That's also why like Sonic has like some of the some of the music I listen to the most when act when not playing uh the relevant game because a lot of sonic music is is vocal tracks i might actually throw on the rodeo poncho get that get that speed stat up lose some acceleration but you know The OST is coming out April 10th. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, that's especially awesome because I will likely have uh, actually beat the game by then, which means I won't have to worry about soundtrack spoilers. Mine. Oh, yeah, this one's new. This one sounds like a jet radio song, or a jet set radio. I need to play that. I need to play that and Bomb Rush.
Yeah, this one's great. It actually, it reminds me of something else that I can't quite put my finger on. You know, I just realized our special ability is not speed boost. I've kind of just been wasting it. So great. Tonberry Derby. Even a single doink in the final stretch can spell disaster, but one last spurt should keep you clear of knife point. Unless you run into a closed cactuar gate. Clear of knife point? Huh? Are, is, are we getting chased down by a Tonberry in this one? Say it ain't so. Oh shit. Why did I not have these on? We just get free. We just get free cornering strength and intelligence for this. Literally no downside to having these on. Doink. Chad, do you have a doink it? Sorry, I just rewatched all of Nathan for You and the rehearsal recently. Like back to back in a huge, like Maybe like two or three day marathon. Ah, oh, shit. I just missed the bonus. God, the the Doinkin episode fucking upsets me when he gets when he gets the Santa to like <laughs> essentially like bully all of these children into fucking thinking that they'll be considered a baby if they don't have a Doinkit. Sorry, I I know if you haven't seen what I'm talking about, this sounds like complete and utter nonsense. Wow, they were not kidding. Holy shit. Anyway, watch Nathan for you. That's really my my main point. Here we go. Here we go. I literally just jumped 
all the way up to first place because of that. There's no way. Hey, you can't do that. Uh, too bad. Guess you just did. I'm really lacking on um these blue fruits, though. Why is that possible? Woo! Oh my god, that was so that was really close. Just Indiana Jones that shit. Nice. You got promoted to silver! Grade two races. Wait, so is there like another... Hold on. We eagerly is that a separate menu? The, the following races are scheduled for today. Oh, I think I, I I probably just have to. Oh no, I think it was just these two at the bottom. Never mind, never mind. Maybe I don't know. I'm crazy. This caddy cat race features power hungry competitors, turns as sharp as claws, and spinning rods with metal orbs attached that should be avoided at all costs. You'll fucking die if you hit these metals. Better not. We win already. Oh, hold on. I see that shortcut over there. The blocks are hiding it. Very clever. Huh. Huh. I see what they mean. Saying I died. I need a mashup now. Ryan Chongo show get on that mashup right away. Three. Oh. 
Why does it sound like a coffee and ramen song? <laughs> the auto tune. Quack, 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 quack. I just noticed you saying quack, 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 quack. We got a hat for that. That's pretty cool. We're about to get even more clothes. Bam, bam, bam. I did not read the description for this one. I don't know why. I forgot. I forgot. That's okay. These are all easy and made for babies, so. It's like not even a problem. And I, yeah, I own a doink it, so you know, I could do this. I could do these pretty easy. That's actually so cute. What is... I, 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 I really... I should check what Rock Solid does, because I find myself with that one a lot. I assume it's some kind of thing to keep me from losing the blues. Piss me off. Get back here. Fall. If I hit him repeatedly, I'll run out of blues a lot earlier than he does. So eventually, at a certain point, um, I'm losing nothing and only hurting him, which is what I want to do. Ah, no! Oh shit! Could taking that shortcut. I like how the AI just like doesn't take any shortcut ever. I 
I hate getting bonked literally first thing in the race. Stop. Please. That bonk actually really helped me. Thank you. Hopefully, though. Okay, so the shortcut is right after the Chocobo gates, or the Cactuar gates. Why do I keep getting Cactuar and Chocobo confused? It's so weird. Anyway, I do just, I have to remember where that is. Right after the Cactuar. Got it. After. Here we go. Well, I missed it. I tried to go for it, but I missed it. Just was I was bad that time. Okay, we have one more chance, and it'll probably really make a huge difference this time. I should have got a trophy for that. They don't like celebrating my achievements because I'm a woman. strength and gusto with which I am holding down the X button is like actually gonna fuck up my controller in the long run. Like I'm gonna get button drift. <laughs> the ultimate stakes. The ultimate, the ultimate test for both jockey and bird. This race should only be run by those who have truly honed their racing skills. Use the jump panels to make your own shortcuts. I really hope, and Chad, don't tell me anything. I really hope that by the... Oh, well, hold on. They might be doing it already. I was gonna say, I really hope by the end of this we get um, a Chocobo racetrack that is literally just in full the exact layout and aesthetic progression of the Chocobo racetrack from the original. Serp Chocobo. <laughs> like, can I, can I, 
Can I do a single drift for the entire race? That'd be awesome. Ah! Okay, just a little bonk. Just a little doink. This chocobo's legs have got to be just on fire. Okay, I deserve that. Yeah, I guess I guess they literally are on fire, yeah. enough of a of a lead that didn't best us yet that almost was a disaster i didn't die we're all okay. looking forward to your next race We're all looking forward to seeing you in action again. Um, maybe it doesn't come until later. Please remember that you are always welcome here, sir. Yeah, that's fine. We won't stress. We won't stress about it. Hey there. You two will probably. It'll probably become obvious when we can get it. Uh, rodeo leg wraps. Yes. Finally. Catch you later! Quack, 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 quack. What? Got gold saucer points? Thanks! And have a Shit. wonderful time! No, stop. What? <laughs> Want to exchange some of your points? What the fuck? Her face! She like hasn't fully loaded in. She's still she's still in LOD mode. Wait. And have a wonderful time. Joe handles Hyperion with a Hi, Chadley. Thank you. My statistical analysis of the birds is going well. Did you see that lady's fucked up face? She was in LOD mode. There's no way he'll keep it. Here comes a band of marching Work! Got gold saucer points! Work! Um, so I got basically every, like, fun little trophy and everything that I could get. So at this point, I might just, um, I might just save up to buy a level boost, which should not take very long. Thanks, and have a wonderful time. Choco Parade coming through. Did I call that or did I call that? I hear that you just watch. Okay. We could do Beast Battleground, we could do the Coliseum, or we could do the Mr. Birdie Quest, uh, which I think is the thing I'm going to do. Nice. Let's do that. Car. The car. <gasps> Hello. What? <laughs> what the fuck? 
I did not do that. I swear it. I don't have any bird traps. What? Uh, I just said I, oh, I guess. Oh, wait. It's a craft item. Duh. There we go. Oh, cool. I have plenty. Valve? Get one of these. Or even one of these. Be an improvement overall. Enhance all the beast. Abyssal bangle. Abyssal bangle. We'll do it. Wait. Yeah, it's an improvement. We'll do it. And we'll do this one for Yuffie. And we can still do it for Cloud. Yay! Wahoo! Perfect. Do we not have a... I thought we had a beguiling amulet. Armlet. Hamlet. Why do I keep saying that? Anyway. Oh, a karmic cowl we can make. Scrap the channels of collective grudge of one's comrades do... If do a protective power, increases vitality and spirit by 30, grants immunity to slow and instant death. Don't mind if I do. Absolutely. All right. It's bird trap time. It's bird. It's bird trap time. Thank you. And now we wait. Might as well rig the other traps then. Life was a hell of a lot simpler back in old Midgar. Hold on. Sorry, Barrett. We were good. Shinra was bad. And if we took him out, the world would be all right. So what's changed? Not a damn thing. Shinra's still going down. But coming back here, I see how I got tunnel vision. And not because Shinra was all I had to think about. Because I didn't want to think about anything else. Saving the planet's important, but I put a lot of personal stuff on the back burner, and I shouldn't have. And I even got his help give me that clarity. Just wish I could have got it sooner. At least you got it, man. Something for Cloud Junior, don't you? Kids gotta eat. Kids gotta eat. Cute. I expect you'll find this hard to believe, but I've actually changed quite a bit since my younger days. Uh oh. Thanks to Tifa, mostly. She Aww. Let me straight. Especially I guess I didn't have to pin that one. It was the only one left. Have the father I am today without her. That's so. But she Stop! Oh, got fed up with my bullshit and tore me a new one. Started yelling about how a kid like Marlene needed a proper roof over her head. Somewhere safe and clean. Said sleeping outside was risky. She was right. Sure was. And not just her. The whole team helped me get my act together. I used to be a runaway train, charging full speed ahead and dragging folks along for the ride. Never thought about hitting the brakes or anything else. Had my fair share of crashes and went off the rails a few times. Caused a lot of trouble for those guys. Well, I'd say you managed to get yourself back on track. I couldn't have done it without them. They came into my life for a reason. Like you did, Cloud. Junior, too. I know it in my heart. 
once again an endless bound to prove that though he may not be your favorite character he's not my favorite character barrett is the best final fantasy 7 character i believe this to be true How to get up there? Oh, hold on. Drop it off here. Only one way to find out. Oh, only one of them. Nice. Okay. Um, before we check on this trap, I'm going to step away again. So, I will briefly be right back. Welcome back. What am I looking at? <laughs> the Craig jump scare? That's cool. Oh my god, them too? Oh no. Do not endanger Cloud Jr. I'll kill you. Son of a bitch. Cyclone Drake, okay. It's on you. Let's ride. Quick, pay attention to my dog. Are you pressuring them? Oh, once the aura vanishes. Okay, so it's just kind of... Yeah, a waiting game. There we go. You ready? No! God damn it, Tiva. Quick, Cloud, help. Nice. Thank you. Went through the trouble of making that trap, and look how they treat it. What a waste. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! They ruined my trap. Oh, you gotta go to each one of these again, huh? Okay. Are they gonna say more? I don't wanna miss any dialogue. Let's drive. We'll drive there. Alright, it doesn't look like they're having a conversation. Anyone else here a funny enjoyer? Oh yeah, in the during the break I came I came back with chips, so we were having a conversation about Doritos spicy nacho, by the way, Vod Heads. Um in terms of Funyuns, yes, I am a I used to be a huge like Funyuns enjoyer. I was very much a Funyun head. Um 
I think I like them less than I used to, but I do still like them quite a bit. I will not say no to a Funyun. I just can't, I don't think I can eat a lot of them like I used to be able to. And they also used to be one of my favorites, but I, I don't think I would say that anymore. Oh my god, it's the same... Yeah, yeah, Moth, I agree. It's like a mood thing for me. Whereas, like, I can have, I can have a spicy nacho Dorito. Any time of any day. One of my favorite foods in general is sour cream and onion Pringles. Sour cream and onion anything is kind of based. God, these motherfuckers. <laughs> Please. Please. Let's do this. Try to catch you're done. I'll end this. Here it comes. You're out of luck. It's on now. <laughs> oh no! Didn't even leave a crumb. Let's check the other. These dudes are ruining my life. There was no conversation that time, so I'm gonna just hit up this one. Anyway, yeah, sour cream and onion Pringles are absolutely good in. You're you're correct. Video game <laughs> podcast. Inflicting up ice damage when it uses in flame will pressure it. When its HP gets low, it will self destruct. Okay. When it uses end flame? Got it. So, we're gonna just get a bit of an ATB thing going. Oh, shit. Please, please. Um, I may have missed my window. Now. Nope, we did it. Don't overdo Here, it. Tiva, <laughs> you're almost set. Oh shit! It's close. It's on you. My turn. Keep it together. Here, get set. Help me out here. Do a kitty wallop. Kitty wallop. <laughs> Let's ride. Okay. Oop. I feel like I got this. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Ha! Finish it. Oh, get away, get away, get away. Y'all are crazy. What are you doing? Quick, dodge and dive. Taking over. Shit. 
sure. On it. We won. <laughs> Where's Kate Seth? <laughs> Scared, Junior. Thought you were gonna wind up monster child. Aww. Do the shrug. Oh, is that your way of saying you're good on your own? But go straight on. Ah! You hear me? <laughs> Cloud Kate and Diva all just collapse immediately. <sighs> All right, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's head back and turn this in. Do 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 <laughs> hey, mister, he's back! Cloud Jr. came back! Do it. Of course he did. When we found him, we said, your friends are looking for you. You head straight home. <laughs> he, like, hesitantly patting no it. No wonder! Thank you so much. Hey, just doing a job. Oh! Don't mind so if I do. Be big and strong and scare away all the monsters. Hope I can bring Marlene back here one day. Tell her about her home and everything else. You sure that's a good idea? I owe it to her father. You'll feel better, maybe, but how do you think she'll feel? Don't know, man. <sighs> Up. My dad says we're supposed to stay away from you. Sorry. Aw. That's so. <laughs> well, don't want to get you in trouble. Fuck. Us old fellas gotta go. Take care of Cloud Jr. Thanks again for all your help, mister. Don't mention it. Cloud, so you look rather worse for wear. Shut up. Actually, you know what? Why don't we just go ahead, since we'll be heading out anyway. There's nothing else to do here. Um, <clears throat> Let's go somewhere. Oh my god, there's like no chocobo stops I have over here. I was gonna say we could fast travel to a chocobo stop that's near some place we gotta go, but... Um... Well, I guess going here would be better than nothing. Here, let me... Let me pin this, and then... I'll just travel right here. And we'll use... We'll use a cushion. And then just get in the buggy. What is that cushion even doing? That, like, doesn't look... Fluffy at all. It looks like it it looks like it does nothing and also it's like it's gone by the end of it anyway. I was avoiding the sand monsters who ran right into a wall. Oh, 
god, this thing is so vast. I love it. Whee! have overshot it. Poppin, uh, the occlusion calling fail. Uh, holy shit. Stream point and laugh. This is not immediately obvious how I'm supposed to approach this. Perhaps just from the other side. Yeah, maybe it's like... Oh, maybe it's over here. Hold on. The, sa the same place I have trouble with every time. A moment. Oh yeah, we gotta go all the way around here. Let's take this vantage point up here. We can always jump down if we need. I think... Oh, maybe it's up here. This is, this is so... winding. Aha! Is it gonna send me right back up? <laughs> Across here, I presume. Down in Corel, yeah. Whenever humanity strays from the proper course, Alexander appears to render his righteous judgment. His pronouncements are absolute and cannot be defied. Parents sometimes tell misbehaving children that Alexander might come and yeah. smite them if they refuse to shape up. It's time for rhythm game. And I don't mean the actual rhythm game that is the piano. Square, circle, circle. Square, circle, circle. Uh, okay. I think... I got it. How deep are we in spoilers? I just finished part one of a rebirth VOD. Well, this is part 11. <laughs> so, I mean, we're doing a lot of open world stuff right now, but we're swiftly running out. Tread lightly, I would say. Excellent work. I hope we can procure data from other crystals as well. I'm 
then this one. And then we'll be able to focus on the Proto Relic, because that will straight up be the last thing we have available to do that isn't like a mini game. Oh, or this. I need to get this scenic spot. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so I'll get this um, Alexander summon crystal. I'll do the scenic spot, and then we'll focus on the proto relic for the next stretch of the stream. Once we do that, I will probably take out Alexander, and then if I don't end the stream there, we'll do like maybe a mission. Contemplate doing something wicked in the hopes I might get to see him up close. <laughs> so I see something say, wicked. I await your next exciting discovery with bated breath. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Do you think Chadley like considered pirating a video game or a movie just to see Alexander? Circle X, circle, circle X, circle. Okay. So I believe I said this and then scenic spot and then proto relic. So, whoop, whoop. Do, 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 do. the door. I still have not even gotten close to this entrance of the gold saucer. One sec. I want to check that out. It looks fun. Saw the baby. Ignored the baby. The parking garage. That's awesome. I wonder if it'll like maybe a loading zone. <laughs> cool. That's great. <laughs> Lead me to your spot. Oh, it's down there. One sec. <laughs> Crashes the buggy. I can lift the sign uh, on a chocobo, 
It's a bummer I can't do it from a buggy. I wish I wish the wheel would go out like a hand like like in the film cars. Cars one and two. Alright, Tiva, stand on the top of the sign, please. Tiva, I beg you, stand on the top of the sign, please. Here, I just have to like pretend like I want to take a picture with her or like talk to her about anything at all and she'll she'll walk away pretty swiftly. Come on. Happening slowly but surely. No! Thank you. This way. Thank you. This way. Ah! Let's go. <laughs> we Goddamn inverse kinematics. Fucked me over on that one. It's cool how one leg went up on its own. Yeah, that's inverse kinematics. If you didn't know, that's what that, um, that's what that technology is called. When, uh, when game characters can, like, dynamically, uh, bend their knees and, like, lift their legs based off of where you're standing. Like, uh, like this. So that's, that's just happening procedurally, and that's what that's called. Which photo do I want to take? Probably something like of the saucer. That'd be pretty cool. Get my buggy in shot. Invest a bunch of time into Cactuar shenanigans. They're not giving me anything. They don't give me anything I want. So they are, they are like patching performance mode in this game and whatnot. Like they're patching performance mode. They're patching the lighting. I wonder if they would consider a, uh, a material increase patch. Has it been enough of a complaint? 
Or is it mostly in these circles? All right then. Let's start looking for those craggy cactuars. Over there. I see. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I think this is the one we found earlier. Yeah. So. We gotta get back up there. How did we get over there? Aha! Nope. <laughs> I'm not even... Not even bothering. Get me out of here. Yes! <laughs> I wish they had more stylized lighting. This high noon sunrise for every place is a plan for an otherwise beautiful game. Well, it hasn't been that way everywhere. Um, <clears throat> they had like a, they've had like a sunset uh, time of day. They've had night time of day. We just couldn't go out in the open world during the night. So I assume later on, um, especially during the, like the Cosmo Canyon sequence, I would imagine that would have like a night sky box or Mm. Or what have you. We've we've seen a couple already, so I imagine they'll bring in another one. It ha it has been a lot of midday though. I, I see what you mean. You saw the grasslands at sunset? That was stunningly beautiful. Gold cat bar. Allow me. Very cool. Try this. Oh, he does it too! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I <laughs> just wanted to have a little fun. For. Go on, touch it. Is he okay? Ladies first. Oh no, <laughs> you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing. Fine. Oh. Cloud, I appreciate everything you do for this party, me? okay? <laughs> oh, I got her anyway. That's so funny. Why? Me? Word of advice don't fight it. Yes, heed the voice of experience. What did I do to deserve this? Also, I love I love that she just said, why me? Like her battle voice line. <laughs> why me? Let's head back to the reactor. <clears throat> Da -da -dum, 
<laughs> Year of UV. I agree. Goofy is my favorite type of character. One, you're so real for that, and two, this is like why I came to love FF7 so much. Well, this is precarious. There we go. Um, I always thought FF7 was like this super, like just standard, like brooding anime story um, that was that, that like took itself very seriously uh, and just had like sword boys and you know not a lot of like actual fun times to it and and don't get me wrong these days especially i can get behind some of that you know like that's not it i'm not even saying that's a bad thing but what playing remake taught me was that uh final fantasy 7 is actually extremely goofy and and it's like precious even um and that was that was it for me you know i was i was it was over for me the moment i realized that oh lord <laughs> okay Cactuar crush too. So it took you long enough. What do you say? Want to jump right into your second trial? Hm. You know how this ends. <laughs> do I ever? But do you? Doesn't sliding down the ladder like that burn your hands? That reminds me. Oh my God! This is a big one. By the way. Let's see. Trial. Who looks fit to fight? Oh, me! Can I give it a go? Eric? <laughs> Fine by me. If the little <laughs> lady wants to show off, I say let yes. her. Yes! Uh, wait, actually, awesome! Also, I was gonna say, so the, the latter comment reminds me of when I went through my uh, demonic Assassin's Creed uh, obsession. Uh, what was it 2022 or something um i played through assassin's creed origins which is the the egypt one and in that game there are zip lines that are just ropes and i kid you not the protagonist slides down the zip lines that are just long ropes with his bare hands and it made me want to like tear the paint off of my walls every time i saw the animation um it's a nightmare it looks like it hurts and it has like the rope sound effect and everything Ugh, i hated it it was awful anyway uh Aerith's trial introduces two new species of cactuars to conquer light wars and dark wars. <laughs> press l2 to conjure an anti light war luminous ward as R2 to summon an anti dark to our shadow ward. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> the basic attacks for war within these wards are more efficacious against the aforementioned cat. Can y'all. Listen, you're very impressive. Um. Note that cactuars of other affinities may appear going forward to keep your elemental wits about you as you fight. Okay. L2 for anti light to our, R2 for anti dark to our, and. That's about it. Stay in the wards, essentially. Okay. They also have other affinities to worry about. Okay, I feel like this one's gonna be harder. L for light, R for dark. Yeah, you got it. That actually might be the... Whoa! Oh, she's like, oh, she's got like a completely different. 
combat style. Go on. I mean, we kind of knew as much, but that's so sick, actually. Please. Okay. Still have Tempest. Get him. Okay. And get ready. Yeah. Magitor. Okay, so these are the ones that are weak to magic, so let's do Sorcerer Storm. Or... Okay. This is so cool. It's so fun. Giftoir. Time bonus F. Okay. For this, I will throw down... Oh, I can't throw down a uh, radiant ward, so let's do sorcerer storm. I got, I guess. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Man, too much. Now's your chance, please. Mind backing off a bit. There we go. Oh, I see. Here. Okay. I just put on any ward and that might help me even further. I'm sorry about that. Go on. Get him. Hey, you asked for it. Nice. Okay. One more shot. No. Dark tours only. I'd keep my distance if I were you. This one's for you. I'm backing off a bit. Every little bit helps. Get him. Don't tackle me. No, thank you. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Oh, you know what I should do? Maybe Chrono Aegis. Well, they throw bombs now, so Here it comes. it's a real problem. Mind backing off a bit. Wow, this one's a lot harder. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Here it comes. Damn. I did not get to 2,500. Interesting. That's a lot more difficult this time. Wow, you sure showed me. And I still thought you might be no better than a bunch of bumbling bandits. Ta-da. We done now? <laughs> Not even close. You've still got two more pieces to collect, and they won't come easy. Ah, but I could use a bit of time to shore up the next trial, seeing as you kind of breeze through the first two. How's about we put things on pause? Here, give me your contact info. That way, <laughs> I can hit you up when the trial's good and ready. What? Okay. Cloud? I think it would be wise to oblige his request. So, can I not do the next part right away? Oh. Interesting. Perfect. You'll be hearing from me soon. Peace. Our hunt is on hiatus? For the time being. I'm afraid our only viable course of action is to await further instructions. Okay. Well, shoot. Ooh, that 
makes me wonder, actually, if the reason why we go on hiatus is because we don't have the right party member. Like, we might need... Like, we might need, like, Sid or something for the next one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, either way, not gonna worry about it. Yeah, I guess we're done here. <gasps> Sorry. I started eating again. Um... Damn. Well, now what? Oh, let me turn this in. That's what. Chat, I do not I do not want answers and I don't want illusions to what the reason could possibly be. Very nice. I'd say you're a first-rate photographer now. If the association had any lingering doubts about you, this latest shot should have completely dispelled them. At this rate, you'll outrank me. But hey, friendly competition never hurt anyone. There's something beautiful about these savage designs. They're cutting edge, revolutionary even. Gives you some real insight into the mind. Listen up, assholes! Okay, um, well, let me, let me take stock of where we currently are, what I'm feeling like doing while I finish this round of snacking, which involves one more tiny little fingerful <laughs> of Dorit's. We should do um we should do Alexander. I totally forgot. So that I do that. Okay, I lied one more fingerful. Wait, he's not in disguise anymore. I'm so mad. Alright, one sec. Okay, I'm rolling this up and putting it like away. Hand cleaning moment. Okay. Alexander time. Your and then I'll I'll do a, I'll do more story. Amount of data cloud. Perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia. Oh my god, I can't even get the last auto weapon ability. Oh, that's such a bummer. That's such a bummer. You can't immediately, uh, you can't immediately 100% corral. Was not expecting that.
Oh my god, that's so cool. He looks awesome. Hold on. Almighty judgment. Let's do less than three. I want to do girl squad. Let's go. Okay. Assess. Sacred summon recreated in virtual reality. This mechanical giant is the manifestation of humanity's judgment, bestowing either salvation or condemnation upon those who survive its trial. The NCO will be largely immune to all attacks until both its arms are crippled. It accumulates karma, one, two, three, by using certain attacks. The higher its karma, the more powerful its divine judgment becomes. Casting Asuna can remove one level of karma. Interesting. Okay. Oh, did we... Weak to lightning. Got it. That makes sense. It is a robot. So, with that being said, let's switch to... Lightning Ninjutsu. I don't think we have Asuna on hand, which is a bit of a bummer. But, we'll, um, you know, we'll make it work. Static shock. And then while we're working on that, I'll switch to TV. T TV? That sucked. That sucked. So true, girly. Okay. Let's increase. No. Let's increase. Let's do electric impulse. Oh boy. So far, so good. Okay, you know what? Let's do Star Shower, I think. No, it's greatly resistant to physical. Let's just focus on electric attacks. I think. In fact, Aerith might be. Oh boy. Good to utilize really quick. This is so cool. Oh, Aerith doesn't have uh, wind and lightning materia on hand, I don't think. When did we take that off? I can't even remember. It's fine. Oh, shit. Okay. Honestly, we're doing really good so far as the thing. Static shock, and then static shock again. Punitive sphere. Dead. That's okay. I'm coming. Yikes. Here goes. That'll do. And catch. I'm here. Why don't you leave the world for breakfast? No, oh god. Oh, please. Man, don't make me don't make me die on the on the easy mode. I'd never live it down. <laughs> okay, fine. I might just um focus on that for a sec. Shot. Yeah. 
Okay. Maybe this time for special. Ready or not, here I come. Oh. Yeah. It's impervious to everything again, I think. Yep. Alright, you can't even target it. Well, we have an opportunity to... Oh, we can summon. <gasps> Does anyone have Ramu on hand? Oh, shit. Let's focus on this for a sec. We have Phoenix. I don't think any... I think Cloud might have Call in Lightning. Um... So here's what I'll do. I'll raise Yuffie again. Okay, up and out. I will stay. Oh, synergy. What do we have? Divine punishment. I'll hold on to that for a, for a sec while I'm still playing as Aerith. And for Tifa, I will use electric impulse on the right arm. We're just gonna go all in on the right arm. Please do not die again. Here he comes. Very glad I did not waste my time trying this at the normal difficulty. It's cure UV. I'll take care of you. I'm How did that happen? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. United refocus. Ooh. Oh, that uses a. But you know what? That might actually go great right about now. Yeah, let's do this. Please, Aerith, do not die. Cure, cure, cure. Cure a guy, even. Keep it up. Nice. Oh, it's happening. Okay, it's fine. Yuffie has limit. Oh, we can use Yuffie's limit. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm gonna use Tiva's limit on the right arm. Just get this thing out of the way. Please. Okay. That helped, I think. What if I just use Star Shower on this thing, honestly? Save the, uh... the elemental stuff for UV, essentially. Oh shit, here we go. Wait. No, Tiva, Tiva. There we go, that's what I want. Nice. I, I, I should have used Yuffie's limit break. He was already dead anyway. I wanted to stagger him and then use Yuffie's limit, but it did not work that way. Work out that way. There'll be more chances. Congratulations on defeating Alexander. You rejected his judgment and rendered your own. Well done. And now his divine protection is yours to call upon on your adventures. A great comfort, I'm sure. Hold on, I'm messaging Joy. She just, uh, she just delivered a package for me and I am incredibly fucking grateful. <laughs> Okay, uh, perfect. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. So, who gets the Alexander summon? I feel like it's only fitting that Kate Sith gets it. TBH. He's so perfect. Look at him. Um, that being said, though, 
do think it is time to switch to girl squad. All right. I think it might be story time. Another Loveless poster. Open 625. Save the date, chat. trip god oh, damn it it's on now <laughs> road trip So fast. It's crazy. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Keep those eyes peeled. Peeled for what? For a jungle, that's what. There it is, there it is. So deep in the heart of one. If Holy the shit. Case, I think we're still a long ways off. No one's right we there. The jungle? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Slow. Okay. Totally about to hit Gungaga. I might be insane. Gungaga's just past these. <laughs> Gungaga. She knows. in here G O four Are we ready? We're, by the way, we're now over 60 hours into the playthrough. Fucking bonkers amount of time. Hey, a 
Up ahead. That our jungle? Indeed it is. Hold on, little Miss Carsick. We're almost there. No. No. A little Miss Carsick. <sighs> I think I'm gonna hurl. Bit overgrown for the poor old buggy. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> sure, uh, let's. Uh-huh. Cloud, you okay? I just... I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> you think so? Oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh fuck! We're already in the new map! Oh my god! Holy fuck! That was seamless! Can I like oh I'm here? Crazy. Oh my god. I love seeing how big this world map is getting. Remember, it used to just be this area right here. The grasslands. And it keeps like it keeps doing the Elden Ring thing where it like keeps zooming out. You notice that? The more we expand it, the the more of an over overview look we get of it. That's so cool. Yeah, the Elden Ring zoom out, like the way the map like tricks you into thinking it's ultimately gonna be smaller than it is by only letting you pan so far until you've unlocked certain areas. Um, very much contributed to that game being my favorite game of that year. It actually was, like, unbelievably cool how they did that. Because you think, like, you're in the opening zone and you're like, oh, wow, this is so big. Like You're like, wow, this is insanely big. Um, and then it zooms out, like, one time and you're like, what the fuck? I guess it really is insanely big. And, and you're like, surely it can't be much bigger than this, though. Not true. It is bigger than that. Um, and it will be impressively so. That's subversion. Lots of new things to play with here. Okay, we, I actually cannot believe in the, like, five and a half hours of stream, I have not checked Kate Sith's folio one time. I will rectify that now. This is my first time looking at this, so let's give him critical hit damage. The fact that he was doing even as good as he was without any of these level ups is kind of insane. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. Look at him. Oh my god. I fucking love this game. Magic Megaphone. Cool. Alright. You're a Moogle Sentinel, yes. I, I think I'm going all in on making my Moogle a tank. Max MP, absolutely. Max HP, absolutely. Jet stream, we'll take that, sure. Is that it? Oh my god, did I just spend all of them? Oh, okay. God, those went by quick. Hunter's precision increases damage to discrete enemy parts by 5%. That's pretty cool. That's useful, actually. 
Um, but we need to get synergy abilities. Cloud and Yuffie leap into the air and deliver a combo from above. Yes. Which is a stagger extension. Red 13, max MP. Uh, enduring Vengeance are really our only options. So, I will get uh, Enduring Vengeance. Enhanced Physical Card. Selfish Recovery Boost. Physical Safeguard applies the Protect Status effect upon entering battle. Yeah, that's a good one. Grab that one. Tifa, nothing. Aerith, nothing. Cloud, you can get one. Weapon ability damage by 3% or a new synergy ability. Maelstrom Strike. Cloud and Yuffie attack an enemy from all angles, striking Surfer than Lightning. Definitely leaning towards this one. Is there another ability we can get? Yes, actually. Cloud and Red 13 hone their focus. Ooh. Uh, you get a three charge ATB gauge with Red, which would be nice, but I think I'm going to go for the Yuffie one for now. Because it also increases our limit. Okay. Well, that's that. All right. I'm going to take on another fucking open world. I think this is particularly crazy to me because um, usually there's like a dungeon in between these or like a long story segment, which... I mean, to be fair, this particular stretch looks pretty linear, all things considered. This might... Yeah, I think just, like, the density of this jungle area is probably gonna sort of act like a... like a dungeon of sorts in its own right, but we'll see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no, I was wrong! <laughs> We're cutting through a lot of this. Oh boy. The music? Well, I'm, I might as well head to this tower then. Okay, I need, um... I need a thumbnail shot. But now we... You know what? I'll wait for a second. I'll wait till we have, like... Because if we're headed to a tower anyway... Oh my god! And if we go this way... This is so cool! Wait! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, this zone is amazing already. The vibes are unmatched. Although, I'm having some trouble navigating this little spot. Oh, I think I see. Wait, do I? Yes, understood. Go down and then get us on more traversable ground. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're finally getting oregano!
<laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Crystal Frog. Good lord. Are we already? Oh, this is combat intel. <laughs> Wait, what is this? What am I looking at? Hold on. Pastel Infotex, look at him. Don't turn into a frog. Got it. So do not start with the en enfeeblement We're room. in monster territory now. Rare Amphidex variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. During mating season, the males undergo a chromatic change to each I feel like if I, if the goal is to not turn into a frog, I should get a squad that can do a lot of range stuff. Love is in the air. In order to draw its intended... Sorry to cut you off, Maya. Do Cloud. I really like Cloud, Barrett, and you. Yes. Cool. Mates attention. The amphidex will let air resonate through its vocal sac, resulting in a romantic serenade. <laughs> the melodic nature of its mating call is so intoxicating that other species have been known to fall under the air. Right. Swing their elements when you so pressure them. Ice. Toad Frog Tune, that's not good. Woo! That was almost a real problem. Nice! No! Jesus Christ! I gotta, I gotta switch. I gotta switch during that. Um, or potentially Brumal form might, might do that. Okay, no, it's just a small AoE. So I just need to be very aware of where that is. God damn it! <laughs> but even failure is full of its own little pleasures, ain't it? This was the same thing with the dune worm. I had to do that like 12 times in a row. I just can't, I can't dodge this shit. So don't too bad me, Cloud. It's your problem too, all right? I'm sure you're not so enthused about having to fight these over and over again. Good lord! You won't let up! Oh, can we use... Well, let's, let's get Barrett to use Icy Impulse on this guy right here. And then... Use a Synergy ability as well. I thought we had a synergy ability available. Ah well. Spectacular! Just 
Cloud, get the hell out of there. Yeah, hold on. A second. All right, now we do Art of War. Woo! All right, there we go. That actually wasn't so bad. That wasn't even close to as bad as the Dune Worm. The Dune Worm is my arch nemesis. Well, it's not it's not even the Dune Worm itself, really. It's the it's the combat intel challenge that the Dune Worm is associated with. Oh, so I can't even I can't even get up get around here. Climb! Get up there. It's everything the Dune Worm represents, exactly. It's everything he stands for. Which, if we're being honest, is not fucking much. He has a spine of a... of a... well, a worm! some insider info. Well, if it's dirty laundry you're after. Yeah. I have heard whispers about the new president's proclivities. Okay. I believe how much he spends on those fancy suits. Oh, why did I even ask? <laughs> His proclivities. He says suits. His fancy suits. New frogs! New frogs! I got your number. Ice fire. Bright flower. Tonical fiends that take uh uh that take root in heavily wooded areas. Fire flower ice frog. Nourishment. Nourishment. They're kind of crazy, actually. At least put up a fight. Yeah. Boom! How do you like this? Gotcha. <laughs> what just exploded? I'm unstoppable. You did. Uh... Yeah. Oh, get your ass out of here. Battle theme is strangely chill. It really is. So far, the the Gongaga vibes have been peak. Absolutely peak. 
from a music perspective, from a visuals perspective. Just the sheer, like, visual density of this place is unbelievable. No wonder Zack is so chill. Yeah, it's not because he's 28. As the, tw the 28th thing was a joke. Ah. And remember, when surveying, safety first. It's okay if you didn't understand it. It's, it's a very specific joke that requires context. That it would make a lot of sense that you don't have. In fact, until recently, I also did not get the joke. Um, well, okay, here's- I'm running into a problem in that I expected following this marker to tunnel me into, like, a crazy story segment that I could play through and then find a stopping point after or within. But they threw me into another open world, which <laughs> is, like, it's great, but also it's heightening any exhaustion I may have initially felt. And I'm wondering... I could, like, just... I don't know. I'm getting too distracted. I have anything. That's yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, it's on now. What material just leveled up? <laughs> All done. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, this feels like a good this feels like a thumbnail shot hold on part six um no I think having the having the field of view out is actually gonna this a lot better here. Oh, hold on. Ooh, I could have like the. I want like some like some grass in the shot like that. That could do it. Yeah. 
Oh, uh... We almost have enough to make Mega Potion. And we're finally getting material for Witch's Armlet. Ooh! <laughs> this is gonna be really nice. I'm gonna freaking like that. Uh, and that's gonna be so cool. If you ever take my advice, you should do the best you can in daily life and school. Lane, it's venison. I didn't know that was here. Nice. Okay, everything's on the do list. You know what? As much as it was funny how it was like, oh god, I can actually, like, cut through all of these. It's an open world. It's not a linear segment. It's an open world. It is kind of funneling me to each of them in an interesting way. Even still. Like, all, well, it's funneling me to that, I should clarify. It's funneling me towards, like, the open world activities. It's just, like, dense enough that I feel like I can kind of do these in approach order and still be like making my way somewhat towards the yeah. the story point hey look at that <laughs> who's who is it this time no oh, you've been riding no. on us to Shinra Telling him where we are, you furry fraud! Yuffie! I knew this cat had two faces! Ah, uh, come on now! I'm only pulling your leg! Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company! Probably stuffed you full of teeny tiny listening devices! Teeny tiny? The late president believed the bigger was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Know the well, huh? Some guy to find nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Stamp? Hey, sure. <laughs> Hi. Might wanna check. Stamp is a fucking dog, Barrett. Kate isn't Stamp, because if he was, he would be saying, bow, 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 bow. I literally, yeah, literally, Chadley, Chadley hopped on call and UV literally went, I'm UV, and ended it immediately. I want to hear the lore. <laughs> I want to hear the lore. Come on. Uh... Oh, yeah. a chance. Whee! Yeah. <sighs> anyway, Chadley, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> It doesn't play again. Oh my god. <laughs> you think? This is the first thing you've ever done wrong. <laughs> Charlie left on red. He said, well, I can tell when I'm not wanted. Please. Kujada. But we can't, but we can't read about it. We can't hear the lore. Okay, fine. I'll just do it. Yuffie's trick.
bum, bum, bum. Look at this crazy thing. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, he's just got six eyes and three noses. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Ready to let me talk, asshole? Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I might stop here. Uh, I very much want to make it to the next story point. I really wanted to do more story today. Um, however, we have nearly been going for six hours. The recording has officially passed five. And also, I need time tonight to not only, like, eat dinner, because it's 6 p.m. This is the latest I've streamed in a while, um, because we started so late today. I need time to eat, find out what's going on with my SSD, and, uh, finish captions for the remake finale edit so that I can get that out tomorrow. So I want to be a little, a little responsible. Oh yeah, six hours not even counting the pre-stream. That's right, because we had to, we had to restart the stream. I totally forgot that wasn't even counting pre-stream hours. Yeah, so we've been going for a while. So, uh, yeah, we'll call it here. Vaughn Heads, I won't keep you for too much longer. Tune in uh, next time, whenever the next one comes out. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you then. Take care. Thank you for watching.